Yo, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to the Hero Vision Podcast. Tonight, I got myself Hector, also known as CN6, and with me, I got Jazzy. What up? And I got Hav. Yo. And tonight, guys, it's uh, the end of the month. Uh, I well, I mean, beginning of the month for February, but it's, it's technically <laughs> the end of the month for January, guys, where we answer questions, the Q and A, right? And we have a bunch of questions, and that's what we're going to be doing, man. This whole pod is dedicated to answering a oh, bunch of questions, you know, just talking about anything related, whether it's movies, TV, video games, our life, whatever it is, man. This should be a fun one. Uh, it's going to... And yeah, let's uh, let's get right into it. I, I guess one thing we should say is oh, that if up? you want to ask us any questions, make sure to ask it through any of our oh, uh, yeah. socials, Facebook, Twitter, preferably yeah, Instagram. Socials. Yeah. That's the one where we receive most of these questions because Hector runs them. So shout out to Hector for that. Yeah. But uh, you know, make sure to follow us there. Yeah, on our, all of our socials at Heat Revision Podcast or go to heatrevisionpodcast.com. And uh, yeah, if you guys are also listening through, I don't know, uh, Spotify, Apple, leave us a rating. Mm-hmm. And also follow the Discord. The it's going to be in the top of uh, the description. And join up, guys. We have a few people in there. It's mm-hmm. pretty cool. And join up, and yeah, we're gonna get into it. So I want to start off with Ramis, man. Shout out to Ramis. Um, I want to start with Ramis first because I can't remember if we, if I mentioned this man in another pod. Yeah. And I know both of you guys said that we did, but I just, just to be safe, man, because I can't, I can't sleep at night, man. I can't sleep well, man. What the hell? I'm like, yo, fuck. Like, do we do this or not? Um, but yeah. So this is back. Uh, from December 30th, we probably did, but hey, fuck it, man. I just, I, cause there's some questions I know for a fact that we didn't uh, get through. Um, so, yeah, shout out to you, Ramos. Hello, hope you guys had a great holiday week and looking forward to your guys' work in the new year. I wanted to ask you guys if you guys talk about more of God of War and Kratos' characters, uh, Kratos's character specifically. I, th- I see this game has been favored among fans for a long time and it is success and it is a successful character. My question is if they had to make a live action, how do you guys like it to be? Uh, so that's the first uh, question. Well, aren't they already planning a live action yeah. on yeah. Amazon? So he's asking, like, he's how asking. we would like that? Yeah. <clears throat> well, I think one thing I would have to say about that is like, I don't. And Javi might hate me for this. I don't know if I would want the voice actor to be Kratos in the live action. I don't want a live action. Period. Oh shit! For real? Nah, yeah, they're gonna butcher that shit. But it's Amazon, so you know they they have the money for it, so they I mean, can they'll have the good seats. I mean, yeah, look, look at Lord of the Rings. That that that, sh- that uh that fucking flopped. it flopped, but visually it looked good. Yeah, so but you that, know, doesn't vis- make, that doesn't mean anything. I know, but you, you know, know, have a good story. Yeah, and, like all that shit. Too. Yeah, are is like people at Santa Monica gonna be like watch like or, like how should I say like looking over the story? Like, hey, there's people there to make sure you guys get a good story. Or probably like, not. Cause look what happened with Uncharted. We really trusted Naughty Dog there, huh? Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But if anything, like, I don't know, man. To be, I don't even think we needed a live action series. I know Amazon's already working on it, and I know there's already rumors that Jason Momoa is going to be playing Kratos. But it's <laughs> like, it's I like, know, I don't know if I can see that. Like, I don't know. But to me, bro, it's just like, and then Hector can't really speak on it because he hasn't played the recent God of War games. Mm-hmm. But those games they never on its own, bro, is already cinematic as yeah. it is. Those, I feel like, just need to stay as video games, to be yeah. honest, bro. I mean, a live action like God of War. I don't know, man. I just don't have high hopes for it. I feel like yeah. I mean, there's some action, things that bro. just shouldn't be live action, you know. And I can yeah. see, and I can see kind of God of War, um, not necessarily. It, it, I don't think a sh- I don't think uh, could it work. I don't know, man. Because so far from what I, what I played, I only played the first God of War game, the the original, and I'm like halfway, I think, or maybe a quarter, or something into God of War two. Mm-hmm. And so far, man, it's some cool, crazy shit. Yeah. And I wonder, like. How the fuck can you do that with live action? And I'm assuming there's more crazy shit in recent God of War games. That like, how can you do this in live action and do it justice? Because mm-hmm. yeah. with The Last of Us, the reason why that was manageable was because the game itself was already grounded to a level. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But God of War, man, like, just with mythology, it's some crazy shit, dude. You know what I mean? It's gonna okay. be tough, bro. What if it was animated off? Not like in That'd the game, cool. but like an actual like, I mean, an, sure. like animated show. Yeah, if it was animated, you could definitely get away with a bunch of stuff. That bro. way you can actually get the the voice actor yeah. in that Yeah, bitch. I could see that. Yeah. <clears throat> Would you prefer that? No. Damn. Not even an animated? No, bro, because it's the same thing as a video game. A video game is animated. Yeah. No, no. I don't, I, wanna, I don't think it's the same. Uh, it's kind of like... 
I don't know. I, just, I don't think it's the same. Yeah, like, I, animation I would, compared well, to a video game. Yeah, like they're both animated, yes, but like I think it's different. I feel like that. Like anima- cyberpunk. Like, like cyberpunk. That, like how cyberpunk that? edge runners. Oh yeah, like that. Think of that. You would want know. something I mean, like that. It would have to be a, a, a probably not because that art style wouldn't fit. Yeah. That's true. Edge runners yeah. art style on God of War. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless they wanted to make it, I don't know. Like what? Kind what if of it was like the uh, the art style of like Arcane? I feel like that would be yeah, perfect for God of War. Oh, I think, or maybe like that. What was that one show uh, that r- loves the robots? Sex oh, Love, robots. Death, and Robots. Well, yeah, the thing yeah, about yeah. that, that has a, every episode's animated. Like that thing. animation is cool. Well, the first episode that I saw, the one that you saw. Oh yeah, that could that work too. Cool. Yeah, maybe. But, I'm not sure. But okay, so yeah, so um, th- okay, so Javi says, "Fuck the live action for real." Uh, and I guess I, I'm just indifferent, man. I mean, actually, you know what, man. I don't see fuck it, man. Fuck it. I don't. I don't know. I, I just. I don't think it needs 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 one, right? Uh, he says. Uh, he also says, "Would you like it to be a TV series or a movie?" About Let's it. say hypothetically, it's happening. It's a series. Yeah. yeah, I think a series would. A series yeah. would be better. I you don't think it would work. A, as you a could movie. fit a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, movie movie wouldn't wouldn't work at all. And he he also says, "Who do you like to play um, Kratos?" That's interesting. That's tough, bro. Yeah, there's not really a lot. I of don't people. know. Was it the the voice actor from the recent God of War games wanted to do it? Yeah, he kind of like put himself out there, like, "Hey, pick hey, me." Man. But I, I, me, I'm just like, I don't know. Who could play? F- you have to who find someone Kratos? who's built as fuck and has that voice. Yeah, but like, and it's funny because he's built as fuck too. But I'm just like, I don't know if he can do it. Yeah, but is I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't know anyone in the industry. The Rock. Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> you said the Rock. Well, I only said because of Javi. That's that's his favorite not even, actor. Not even, not even, uh, not even Momoa. Yeah, when you said that to me, I was like, really him? Yeah, yeah bro. Even people yeah, fan casting even, no, him. Like, I, I don't, don't even see that. That's tough. No, I, out of like the top A list celebrities that we know, I can't think of any. I mean, if they pull like a James Gunn, where they pick up some smaller, not well known characters, sure, maybe, mm-hmm. right? Um, but okay, he also says, uh. Uh, who? Would, okay, what game story should be adapted? That's a pretty good question. Like, if they were to do a God of War TV series or movie, he's what talk, game he's story? Talk, he's talking about God of War yeah. still, or, or in general? Any games in general? No, he's talking about God of War still. Mm. Which story should be told? I feel like the newer ones. The newer ones? I can't speak. The newer ones that. are more cinematic. And that's why. That's yeah. that's, that's probably mean, why they would want. But then again, okay. you'd run into the in- you'd run into the issue that. He had an old, a whole other arc before the Norse oh, that's mythology true. shit, yeah. which is where you're at, mm-hmm. where he's on his revenge spree. Because Kratos right now, girl, is not Kratos you know now. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I know, know. If you know what so I mean. So I think, I think they should do that then. They should do OG Kratos. They should do how he lost like his family and everything mm-hmm. and how he's on that revenge quest. Because because of that, that's, because of that, that's mm-hmm. how we get that character development to current Kratos now. Mm. So I think they should do that then. More realistically though, yeah. if Amazon really is going to try to get this off the ground, they're going to do current Kratos. Oh, for sure. They're going to do Ragnarok money, Kratos. Yeah. They're going to do the one with his son Atreus. Yeah. Because it's the newer ones, and they want to get on that. Want they want to get, get on, on the wave. on that wave before it dies down type shit. Even though it's yeah. kind of already died down. Cause yeah. We're on to bigger. We're on to like new games now. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Any other thoughts on this franchise? Uh, I remember playing God of War 2 as a kid, and it was fun. Now seeing this franchise go through a lot and build a whole verse for itself is cool. That's all. Take care, take, take care guys, and good luck for next year. So, yeah, any other thoughts on this franchise? So far, I'm digging I'm, it, man. I'm, well, where you're at, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, I, 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 I look at both, both, both. I enjoy both the, the Roman and this new era. You know oh. what I'm talking about? That, but in terms of where I... In terms of like other opinions I have on the franchise, I'm very interested to see where they're gonna take it next because Corey Borlaug, I forgot to say his name exactly, but he said that they're done with the whole what's his era called? Norse mythology. There you go, Norse, Norse mythology. mythology. So I'm just like, okay, Hector, Hector's playing Greek. Mythology. Yeah, he's playing Greek right now. And apparently, in the new update, did you play it, Hav? Mm-mm. But in the the new update, apparently oh, the Valhalla, were, the Valhalla shit, there were there were like hints of where he's going next, like Egypt. Whoa! Fucking uh, fuck. what's what's the I forgot the other one, but like Egypt was a big one. I was like, oh, that would that would be cool. So I'm very interested, like, cause I don't think they're done. Mm-hmm. 
more God of Worship is going to come out just in a different era, and I don't think it's going to be with Kratos. I think Kratos' story is over. Now we're going to see Atreus. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. believe their next game, they're working on a new IP, I believe, at Santa Monica. Yeah. And I think it's that game they canceled when they were making 2018 God of War. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be that one. Because I remember seeing concept art in that behind the scenes of God of War, the making of that shit. And they put a little bit of concept art of what that canceled game was, but they never fully gave us details, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I, I, my guess is that it's that canceled game. I did not know that. Wow, oh, okay, cool. Oh, I'm also watching the Grounded Part Two, for the Last of Us Part Two, the making of that shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Watching it pisses me off. Yeah, fuck them. I'm just like dead ass. Yeah, fuck them. I see their thing. It's like what they try to like. I'm not done with it yet, but like the Where's way. Where's that? At? Where can I watch that? It's on YouTube. It's free. Oh, what what do they do? Like it's, oh, it's the just process like, of making the game. Yeah, it's just like the first Grounded, the making of Part One. I haven't seen that. So one. it's the, oh, watch the first one. You'll love it. Okay. And the second one's just the making of Part <laughs> Two. The second one you'll hate it. Yeah, because he hates. <laughs> no, it's just like no, I understand. Like, I'm on a mission. It's funny because I'm gonna replay we know. it. We know. We know. I'm gonna, gonna fucking replay it, man. You're gonna I gotta yourself. see it. No, I gotta see what's up, man. Maybe I just maybe I was just pissed or something. I, don't I know. get that, like, because oh, their whole point is like, when does the cycle over? It's like I get it. You're trying to go it's, like let go of anger, let go you know, of this. I kind of thought of it, kind of like I know, and I know there's gonna be kind of like hypocrisy in here in a bit. Let me explain. I kind of. The reason why I'm kind of maybe starting to see, okay, you know what, I, I get it, right? It's because there's a, a zombie show called Black Summer. Mm -hmm. I think I mentioned it to you guys. Where I like it because it's somewhat realistic in a sense where you meet like new characters each episode and they just die. Mm -hmm. And you're like, damn, what the fuck? But it's kind of realistic because it's like, hey, man. That's probably what would happen. That's what happens in, real, in mm -hmm. the real world. But there is like a main character that never dies mm -hmm. that always appears in each episode but we always constantly meet new characters so mm -hmm. i kind of see the hypocritical part was like oh it makes sense because like hey bro no one's invincible but that character that one character is and that character could have been you know joe mm -hmm. and stuff and obviously people argue well hey man like even though it's like a land of it's not it's it's deeper than a revenge it's story, deeper than revenge yeah but it is people for people saying oh like what the fuck joel died and stuff like that well keep in mind like it really peeled the layer back. Joel did murder so many people. Yeah. yeah. It was and, bound to catch and up. And it was about, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's why I want to replay mm -hmm. it and maybe maybe I missed it, dude, or something. To me, it's like, I, luckily, I, I didn't get I didn't get spoiled. I didn't me see neither. the leaks. I, I never got the game, spoiled. bro, and I was shocked, man. I was me like, too. What the fuck you and me that? never got spoiled. Oh, you didn't either? No, I didn't. Oh, shit. I never okay. got spoiled, bro. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. okay. No, it, to me, it's all oh, about you weren't the streaming either, huh? You didn't have your record. I no, I was streaming. I have this over stream. Oh, do you have your reaction? Yeah, but I had to private them. Can I well like after this? Can I see it, man? If you want to, yeah, I can show you. I still, but, yeah, I still, I still have my shit. But too. Uh, what's it called? I get it. It's all about the cycle of like revenge or anger and mm. like, hey, when it, when is the when is it too much hate? Mm. When is it too much revenge? But I was like, yeah, I get it. I just think you executed it poorly. Interesting. Like how you planned it out. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't care that Joel died. At the end of the day, I don't care. It's just how he went out and how early it was. Yeah. You know but what I mean? That's kind of my issue. Okay, with but it. here's the thing. I want to play like devil's advocate a bit. It's like, don't you think, even though, like, yeah, it sucks how he how he died and how, like, um, fast it was, but doesn't that also play in kind of like the realistic grounded side where, like, it, it, it could just happen? Yeah, that's true. That could happen, but... My thing and I is, get it, you know, it was a well-loved character. That's why, like, I'm still on the fence, but I kind of see what they're going for. Mm -hmm. But, I, like, I, I, yeah, man, I don't know. I'm gonna I know. get it, but in the documentary, he says that he did it so early so people would have this feeling of anger right away. And that's true. We did, we all, we all, we all had that, that feeling. It's in the documentary. Like, oh, it, it's shit. the whole, because this is the whole point of the game, is his revenge. Like, that's why you leave uh, that town. Like, this, that's why we had it so early. And I'm just like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I, I get it. But at the same time, like, you also have to give respect to Joel in, in the way he goes out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel like just that way just gave no respect to his character. And even Troy, Troy Baker, who plays Joel, he said when he told Troy Baker that he died, is Troy was like, he wasn't happy. He oh, was just really? like, that's real. He's no, it's, it's in the documentary. Oh, no, wow. now he's fine. Like he's he's he obviously supports the no, game, but when he, when he, he was told. Like, what? He's like, it, it felt. It's not, it's not so. F it's not that he was angry that he dies, but like how he died. Is that was no, that no, it, 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 no. It's just him dying in oh, general. Oh, it's just shit. like it, the way when he told me that it's as if I I lost someone I knew. Mm. That type of the way you felt, you know what I mean? Eventually, he said he played the game or some shit like that. I, I think I saw a tweet later or some shit like that. 
But either way, to me, I, I, I just think I it was just executed poorly. And the leaks ne didn't help it at all. I think because leaks came out, it did ruin the... The reputation of the game. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, that I, got, I will say. I gotta say. fucking check that out, bro. Yeah, bro. But, uh, I'm still pissed. Fuck that shit. But yeah, but yeah okay, so yeah, that's it for Ramis. I know... Now I, now I think I remember. I think the other pod I mentioned, because Ramis said that he wanted a God of War-focused pod. Yeah. I think that's what I said. And like I said, that's going to happen once I uh, catch up with the God of War games. We could definitely make a pod about that, bro. So I got you. All right. So that's uh, that's it from, from uh, Ramis, bro. Thank Shout you, Ramis. You, Ramis. Uh, let's go into uh, Sheldon, Sheldon M. Uh, he says, hey, man, I just, re I just recently listened to your... Latest podcast, and it was an enjoyable listen, dude. Sorry I've been lag lagging behind with all your episodes because life and work and shit. Just want to say I'm glad you guys are keeping this up and keeping it strong for your podcast. They've been great. And also, I listened to I listened to most anticipated media of 2024 about Sonic 3. Apparently, rumors said Hayden Christen, Cr Christensen? Christensen. 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 Yeah. Might voice Shadow. I was hoping Robert Pattinson. <laughs> Hello. Robert Pattinson, <laughs> Elma. Uh, to... To do his edgy voice for Shadow. After watch uh, The Boy and the Heron, the new uh, Gib Ghibli? Studio anime? Ghibli, yeah. I feel like he can pull it off because he's a great voice actor he is, as well. He is. And he also says, uh, sorry, this is a long-ass message. I'm literally, I'm, I'm a little drunk and today's my birthday. L <laughs> LOL. Well, happy belated, bro. 27, dude. So, yeah, happy. 27, bro. Shout out, man. Happy, happy birthday. Happy yeah, belated happy belated birthday. birthday but you know sir? what that makes me so happy about, what, that, about that message is the hating Christians apart. Because... When yeah, the way when it, yeah that I, but yeah, no was, it's, yeah. it's more so after that I was, I was like who is that he's he's like, I didn't, he's, he he puts a character in, in the Star prequels Wars. prequel trilogy does he sound cool or what's up yeah he's yeah he is cool he's definitely cool but yeah. the reason why yeah, it makes first. me happy was because he oh, received okay. a lot of hate for those movies and what's it called he kind of stopped acting because of the hate he received from Whoa. those movies and Good because fresh. of and because of the the recent success of Obi Wan and of Ahsoka the love that he received. At celebration, which was amazing, there's a video on it, and people like him ch getting choked up and saying like, "This love, like, I really do appreciate it." He recently like got, he's like, "I want to get back into acting." So wow. seeing him that he got, he, he's in this movie, right? It's him now confirmed. I no, it's not I, confirmed. It's well, either way, him seeing him getting work or him being just being interested in acting again is something that makes me yeah, happy. I don't know how he sounds. I, I mean, I reply to him saying that. I always, I want the I don't know his fucking name man uh, the voice actor from when he was introduced in Sonic Adventure two in the GameCube or Sonic X or even the Shadow the Hedgehog game I like that voice I want that shadow mm -hmm. that'd be fucking cool and that'd be and like that'd be kind of like a uh, like um, not an Easter egg but like more like if you know you know when people when people see is oh shit that's yeah. the, that's the voice and it'd be cool he says Robert Pattinson that's funny. I don't know. He said he'd like that. I don't know about Robert Pattinson. I don't know. Like you, you but want to be... realistically, they're gonna they're gonna hire an actor. Wait, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, because yeah. I mean, if every if all the other characters like Tails and Knuckles and Sonic, they're just being voiced by regular actors. Yeah, not actual voice actors from the games. They're gonna mm -hmm. pick an actor for Shadow. Yeah, and hopefully. As far yeah. as Hayden Christensen, I don't know. Apparently, he... in the teaser, there's a voice, and they think it's him. Like his his voice. Yeah, there's a voice, like a laugh. It's like yeah. more of a laugh. But apparently Jim Carrey's back, and that's weird because I thought he retired. He said he was thinking about retiring. Oh, okay. Never he was mind. thinking about it, but now he's coming back. Oh, okay. Which, okay. Which I'm pretty sure this would be the last movie. That's I bet you, I bet you he was coming back for the third one because he was contractually obligated. Probably. Oh, really? Probably. Oh, shit, Let's yeah. be honest, bro. When you, film, when, you, when you sign on to film deals, it's mostly for multiple movies. Yeah. Bro, Don Cheadle, the guy that plays Rhodey, War Machine... When he replaced that other guy in Iron Man 2, that was a seven-movie deal. Fuck. He signed on to be in seven movies. So he Jesus. was on my contract, had to be in seven movies. Hey, so man, in you got Hollywood, man, when you sign the deals, it's for multiple movies, girl. Unless unless your first movie flops hard, in which case the studio's like, we're canceling the trilogy. In which case, now you're free of that contract. Yeah. But as long as they keep making them, your contract, you're obligated to be in it. Mm -hmm. So I think he, by, was like, by contract, wasn't going to be in all these movies. As Eggman, mm -hmm. I think. All right. Funny enough, they don't even call him Eggman, do they? In the second movie, because he's not remember. fat. I don't remember. I don't think so. Oh, uh, I think they. Uh, in the f I think they did. They did. They did. I don't remember. I that think they movie. did, and I think it's because of his head. Oh, uh, that makes uh, sense. Okay, that would make sense. I think so, bro. 
But okay, so yeah, okay, that's it from Sheldon M, bro. Shout out to you, man. Shout out, Once bro. Once again, man. Happy belated birthday, man. Mm-hmm. Twenty seven, man. Fuck yeah, bro. Um, okay, so now we're go- okay. Let's move on. Let me see. Sorry, guys. It's just we got a we got a few uh, questions here. All right, let's do. Um, okay, we're gonna do Kevin, man. Shout out to Kevin. This is a uh, shout out to you, man. He, I'm gonna. I'm gonna mention a, a quick video that he sent me, man. Oh shit! He, he I don't have it. Oh, he, I don't shit. have it. Yeah, he sent it to me. He sent <laughs> it to me through, through Instagram. Oh okay, so bro. And it... this made my day. This was yesterday, I think. Or... Oh shit, for real. Oh, that was that was what it was, it was? recent. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh, wow. And dude, man, this this made my day, bro. It was it, it was funny, dude. He he's he's just recording himself driving and working. He's a he's a, he's a He's a mailman. He's a postal guy. Like just like oh. Luis, man. Shout oh to Luis. shit, we got another mailman. Okay. Shout out to Luis, man. All right. He sent he sends a miss he sends a message and he dude he's funny man he's he got that red dead accent bro. Oh for real? He's from the su- he's from the south. He's from the south. He's mm. from the south. Uh, I forgot where he said he was. He said where he was from, dude. I messaged him real quick to see yo bro where'd you, where'd you say you were from again? I'm gonna shout you out. But obviously he's probably sleeping now. Yeah. Like, Latest fuck. I'm trying to remember. I think he said Tennessee or Kentucky. One of those. Mm. I don't know. And it's funny because he's like, hey, man. He's like, I'm just working, man. I'm, I know I probably sound like a hick or whatever. <laughs> you know? He's like, I know there's, you know, there's a bunch of, he's like, there's a bunch of rednecks out here and blah, 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 uh. so and so. He's like, and I listen to you guys, man. I listen to your pods and stuff. And sometimes uh, people are like listening. Or like here, because I have you guys on my in my car, like uh-huh. speaker or whatever, and they always like turn turn their heads and wonder what I'm listening to. Oh, so but yeah, like, I just want to say shout out to you, man. This is what I do, and he just showed me like him working and stuff. So shout out to you, Kevin, man. It, it's it's well, it, no, it, it made my funny. day. It's funny, man. It's it's, yeah. it's 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 funny. He got that red dead accent, man. Which well, man. Shout that's out cool. To you, that's Kevin. cool. I told Hector I said if they if people if if viewers keep sending videos, we got to screen record. I got yeah. I got well. I got to ask them. You know, if they yeah, want to say. share it, right? yeah. Uh, I I would definitely ask first. But yeah, shout out to you, Kevin, man. Uh, I we uh, he and I we've spoke like many times like mm. throughout. Shit, I mean, ever since we started this pod, like he just wants to ask, he asked me like a question and stuff and mm-hmm. yeah I mean, he's, a, he's a cool dude bro shout, shout out, to, out shout, man shout out to all y'all man y'all mm-hmm. really cool i'll be talking to you guys here and there but yeah okay so he sends me that video but yeah he has these questions so uh he says um i've been listening to your three-hour podcast on cape shit a lot when i have long days at work lol and that episode on the dc universe on cape shit shout out to you man uh, he yeah he 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 tells me he listens he really listens to our shit man and same with oh, uh, Josue man he yeah. does the same thing I know him bro so shout out fucking to fucking monsters I don't know, I don't know how man. <laughs> they're, they're demons they're it's crazy, demons bro. bro going demon mode on these pods that's, that's what's demons. up and it makes me feel bad because I'm like dude we gotta drop more on Cape shit man these guys are out here listen re listening <laughs> to shit man what like how many fuck? more times do I gotta hear this casting list <laughs> for real <laughs> dude that one was brutal bro that one was like almost four hours long <laughs> That's Jesus. crazy. Was it? Was it that one? Yeah, right. It was three and a half. Yeah, but it was that one that was super long, yes. right? Fuck, dude. Um. So yeah, he says. Uh. Okay. Yeah, but I have one question though. Uh, do you think they'll ever bring back Robin in the DC? I would like to see him in action with, uh, with Batman again, or at least I like to see him in any kind of live action Batman movie. Mm. Um. Don't get me wrong. I like seeing Batman uh, being solo and kicking ass, but it's been a, a so long uh, since we've seen Robin in live action. That's, That's true. That's very it's been true. since the 90s. Yeah. Damn, well, it's been that well, long? Here's the thing. We're getting a Robin. No, that's what I was saying. We are getting one. Kevin, I'm, if you listen to... You said you listen to our DC. I think we talk about it there. If you talk about cape shit, it's not that. We talked about it on the HRV pod when we oh. did this DC slate. When we talked about James Gunn's DC slate. No, but we also did another one, uh, diving into James Gunn's universe deeper. Yeah, that. but we didn't talk about Batman. We talked oh, about Superman. fuck. Okay. And Creature so, Commandos. Okay, so yeah, Kevin, bro, we talked about that already. And yeah, we're getting a Robin, dude. Uh, yeah. It's already confirmed. So we're getting a Batman movie. Yeah. It's called The Brave and the Bold. Mm-hmm. And we're going to get Robin. Specifically, we're going to be introduced to Damian Wayne. Yep. And my thing is, is that... If I remember correctly from that podcast, Danny, who did the podcast with us, was a a special guest sometimes on here. Mm -hmm. He did that pod with us. I think we all were on the same page as Danny. We were all concerned that if they're going to be introducing Damian Wayne, does that mean the other three Robins, are they already established and introduced? And are we going to see them when they're already as Nightwing, when they're already Red Hood? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So our thing is like, 
we're going to see the Bat family eventually. How are they going to do it? Is Damian Wayne going to be the first Robin instead of Dick? Or is Dick out there and Damian's the second? Yeah. What's the order? Is the entire Bat family already established? Even Batgirl, Barbara Gordon? Or is she already in that wheelchair? Like, we don't know anything yet. But based on how James Gunn wants to set up the DC universe, he's very much establishing an established universe. Yeah. He's not doing it like uh, like MCU where we see the origin of all the heroes. Mm-hmm. I think he wants to establish an established universe. So this Batman's already been Batman for a while. Mm. And who knows? Maybe there's already been some Robins. And who knows? Maybe those Robins are already their characters, right? Mm. Like Nightwing and Red Hood. Yeah. I don't know, man. I would have liked to have seen all their origins from the beginning just to see what's up. But we'll just see what happens. But yeah, man, we're getting a Robin. Yeah. That's been confirmed. Yeah, and, A and, year and, now. Yeah, he, he also uh, says that he uh, read somewhere that there's, a am assuming, a rumor that Robin might show up in... Uh, and Robert Pattinson's Batman. But who knows, he says. Oh, yeah. Well, we don't know. Maybe yeah, a second we'll see, movie. Man. We'll see how, how cool that is. But, yeah. So, continuing on, uh, he continues by saying, um, I also do have a question, and, and my friends have been saying this. The Last of Us Part Two, the second season, they picked up, they picked out the girl to play as Abby. Oh, yeah. But yeah. the girl they chose was Caitlin Deaver? Yeah. Or Dever? Dever, yeah. And she's a very good actress, but she's not quite buff enough to play her. I know Thank they God. Give, I know they give these actors training to meet the character's phys- uh, physique, but my question is, do you think that Caitlin uh, Dever should have played as Ellie instead? Ooh. And then he sends me a picture of her. This is her. Appreciate yeah. it. Show yo, me, I was about to say, show me bro, the picture. Bro, shout out to fucking Kevin, bro, because that's how you know he listens, because he knows that, like, yo, I don't know these actors, yeah. boy. <laughs> so I didn't even ask him who is that. He just sent me the picture, bro. Shout out to you, man. You know what's up. And she he, does kind of look like Ellie. I ain't gonna lie does. to you. She does. Yeah, yeah. That's she a does. good question. Okay, you know. Yes. Yeah, so, okay, that's the first question. Um, mm. uh, do, 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 do you think that she would have been better as an Ellie? I don't know. I don't know who she is. She's. She's. <sighs> she has the looks. Yeah. Well, yeah. But here's the thing: the one who's Ellie right now has. Is she? she is she actually she embodies a good, an Ellie? Is she a good actor? Have? She's good. It's just that. How old is? I have no idea. How old is the girl that plays Ellie? Bella Ramsey. Uh, because this girl, 20. this girl is like in her mid twenties, and I think she looks, she looks, she looks too old mm. nowadays. Now, like yeah. how she looks now, looks too old to be playing Ellie. Gotcha. Maybe Last of Us Part Two, Ellie. I can yeah. see that. Mm-hmm. But if they wanted to make season one when she's fifteen, she does not look fifteen, despite yeah. how much she looks that's like Ellie. True. So to her play as Abby. That's fine, I guess. Honestly, bro, I really didn't understand why Abby was that fucking buff in the game. Yeah. To be honest with you. So if they don't make her buff and they just keep her like how she her physique is there, I'd be fine with it. Yeah. yeah I if anything, it's more realistic. Oh, you're feminine. That makes sense. Right. Uh, he, he also um, says, uh, my thoughts of it is maybe they chose her as, a, uh, as well because she's the same height as the girl that plays Ellie somewhat, but a few inches taller, LOL. I'm sure I'm coming off as a picky fan of what I want out of any type of shows and movies. Um, well, I guess here's the thing. With, I wanna, yeah, I want to say something about the whole Abby situation, right, man? Because when the game came out, people were like, "Yo, what the fuck? She Hulk? Like, why is she buff as hell? Or she, mm-hmm. uh, you know, is she playing for the other team?" People said there were when the leaks came out. A lot of people were hating on the fact that Joel dies. Yeah, mm. hating so much in fact that they were like, "Ain't no way, my boy Joel got rocked by a transgender woman." Yeah, they oh, were yeah, throwing that was speculation. That they were like throwing a lot of yeah. trans because she was so buff. Which again, again, yeah. makes me go, "Why is she that buff?" Like that, I don't understand the concept. Like the game never even explored that. But anyways, whatever. My only there like, was- reasoning behind it, how buff she is is based on like how that settlement that they have. They're able to actually. They have a lot of food. They have. They have to. Uh, it's like survival of the fittest. You have right. to be fit, or else you're <clears throat> killed. Right. That's mm-hmm. the only explanation that I can think of. Yeah. But yeah, go ahead. But I don't know, man. I mean, I don't think I'm not. I'm, to me personally, I'm not picky like that. Yeah. As far as like, oh, do they look like them or the physique yeah. and all that shit? Like, yeah. I mean, me neither. That's what I want to say. Is that at first when the game came out, they're like, yo, what the fuck? Why is she buff? Even when there was debunked, yo, she's not transgender or whatever mm-hmm. uh people are still hating like oh like she buff as hell what the fuck it looks weird Ugh, like oh she's getting 
you know, she's getting fucked. Remember that scene? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fucking weird, whatever. And now they cast this girl, and now people like switch it's sides. Flipped. Now it's like, yo, this she, bitch looks nothing like Abby. Yeah, she's not buff. What the fuck? Yeah. Right? Yeah. And to me, I'm just like, <laughs> all right, man. Like, that's, it's just crazy how the internet is. Yeah, yeah. Of course. And me personally, I. I'm indifferent, man. I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't, I don't care. care. If I just she's don't buff care. Buff or not, I don't care. I don't care. I'm gonna hate her either way. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's all the fucking same well, to I'm me. Just Fuck her. To see, bro, will Neil Druckmann pull through? He will. I think, think he so? is. He's I gonna think... keep the same fucking story. Because if he does, okay, cool, right? But if he doesn't, then that's like a like a what? Na- like what happened, bitch? Yeah. Why you shit with up? But here's the thing, though, is that even Mario said that he's been watching the grounded documentary oh, on the okay, making yeah, of the second yeah. one and they're still like oh all yeah right. this was the plan all along dude, I'm, so dude, they- I'm okay i'm glad that's gonna happen because i'm actually curious to see what the mass audience thinks dude they're not gonna i want i'm ju- i just want to see the ha- i just want to see the chaos i yeah, want to see what I know, happens i know i just want to see it oh my god this is such bullshit and dude, we're all, and we're here like we've been knowing this for five years because dude so many people mm. like are new like Last of Us fans and shit? Yeah, that got introduced the to this shit. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god, like I'm, I want to. They don't see. know what they're in for. I want to see, man. And I want to see the, the what is it called again? The Rat King or some shit? The, remember that boss? The um. Oh, the, uh, oh, that fucking big ass. I want to see how they do that, bro. Yeah. That's got to be sick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, bro. So that's our thoughts uh, on that, bro. Uh, and that's pretty much it. That's it from Kevin, dude. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, that's all, that's it from you, bro. Shout out to uh, shout out to you, man. You from uh, like Red Dead type shit. Yeah. <laughs> dead, you got dead you eyes. Eye. <laughs> Where's my money, boy? Anyways, let me find. Uh, okay, shout out to you, Kevin, man. And sh- okay, we got Ramis. Okay, cool. I just want to make sure we get everybody because I have uh, quite a few. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, next, uh, let's do, uh, okay, let's do uh, Josue, man. Let's do Josue. Okay. Y'all know Josue, man. Yeah. All right, uh, you good? Yeah, I don't know where my phone is. Oh, it's right here. Let me see. What the hell? My phone. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, all right, so Josue, man, shout out to you, bro. Josue! Yeah, man. <laughs> he says, what's up, bro? Just wanted to ask a couple of questions. Oh, here we go, man. Get ready, man. It's a doozy. Okay. Oh. MCU shit. Yep. MCU shit. I don't know. I, I don't might not remember, man. Uh, oh, actually, never mind. Okay. He says, in the Hawkeye show, Clint tells Maya Kingpin wanted Maya's father dead, like he straight up tells her in sign language. But the show never explains how Clint knows. Maybe I missed it or something, but I don't know how Clint knew how Clint knew that. So I was wondering, how did Clint know that? How did he know that Kingpin set the hit? Uh, yeah, that, yeah. I don't know. Oh, shit, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's the... <laughs> Yo, I was he, just... he just spit in your face, bro. Like, he just <laughs> said, I don't know, bitch. Why the fuck do you expect me to know this? Like, you're the MCU the guy. Who said so? Oh. That's facts, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, you're right. They never they never uh, do explain it. The I, only explanation is that, obviously, he was Ronin at the time, and... Mm. Uh, we just assume in his Ronin activities. In his... <laughs> It is Ronin activities that yeah. he just found out. I'm yeah. assuming. Is there? Yeah. Unless, yeah, man. I mean, that's a good question, bro. I mean, like I said, I'm gonna be rewatching these things, so hopefully, I could uh, keep an eye out, man. I'm definitely gonna take notes and stuff, so hopefully. But I mean, it's not really a big of a deal of a question. But I'm, yeah, man. I guess I'm sorry, man. I guess we don't even know that fucking answer. You're right. Yeah, I don't think he says anything. Like I said, the only explanation I can think of is that him being as Ronan, him figuring out where everybody was, is mm-hmm. I'm assuming he also found out that hit. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, he says, also, hopefully no one has asked you guys this, but who is your guys' favorite Avenger? You, Hav, and Mario. Our favorite Avenger? Avenger? Yeah, Avenger. Okay. For me, Avenger. For me, I'd say Iron Man. Iron Man is your favorite Avenger? Wait, are we talking about like comics or movies? I'm assuming He's most movie, likely going to be talking about the movies. movies. Yeah. Okay, we could do movies then. Favorite Avenger from the movies, bro? Fuck. I think the only... I can only think of like... From the movies, obviously Captain America and Iron Man. You yeah. know what I mean? Those, like, yeah. They're the most typical picks. Yeah, man. I mean, there's not that many uh, that I could really think of. I'm like, oh, yeah. I think Danny's is Hulk. Oh, I'm, yeah. Hulk is cool. Hulk, I mean, Hulk is cool, but I just don't like the, where he's at right now, so I can't really say he's like my favorite Avenger. 
Unless, yeah, you know. What about you, Mario? Mine was also Hulk. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, mine was also Hulk. Oh, yeah. sweet. Okay. There you go, bro. Uh, and what is your favorite movie in the MCU? It could be anyone, and I don't mean which one is the best. Like, I don't want y'all motherfuckers to say Endgame. Oh, <laughs> that's funny as fuck. Uh, oh, so our fuck. favorite that's MCU tough. movie? I don't have one. Uh, I have, I have uh, multiple that are tied for me. Okay, you go first while I think about like, it. Like, Iron Man 1 is a fire. Is a Iron fire. Man is fire, yeah. yeah. The first Avengers is fire. Civil War was really good. Infinity War was good. Endgame. Endgame. He just wanted to say Endgame. <laughs> Endgame was good. Uh, Our favorite MCU movie. Captain America The Winter Soldier was fire. Never saw that one. That's fucking crazy. Man. I know, right? Civil War. Uh, Civil War. Uh, Winter Soldier was fire as fuck. I need a wiser, yeah. But, I think um, I want to say, dude... If we can't say Endgame, we won't say Endgame. Fuck it, right? I'll say I'll say Infinity War. <laughs> Infinity War is you know what you know I'm what's crazy though. War. You know what's crazy though. I think I think Infinity War, War is my favorite. Huh? Which one? I think Infinity War is my favorite. I think that one's everyone's favorite, dude. To be honest, really. That's why I put, uh, that's why I listed five because I feel like Infinity War and Endgame are like the most uh, easiest answers. Yeah. But there's more bangers in the MCU than you expect. That's why I was like mm. the first Iron Man was fire, the one that started it all. The first Avengers is still holds up. Yeah, the first Avengers movie still holds up. Granted, it's not, it's not Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everyone's here, like yeah. Infinity War was, but it was still fire. And Loki was a yeah. great villain. Civil War, I just like the whole like, whose side are you? That's on? cool, man. That That's shit fire. was fire. So I don't know, man. For me, it's just tied. Like all those movies are. I fire. think I would say that. Yeah, I'm tied with the first Avengers. Uh huh. And um, Civil War. Just wait till you rewatch them. Yeah, I'm tired for cape shit, bro. You're you know, gonna... and just for fun, man, add more value to this question, man. Favorite MCU show? I'm gonna say uh, for Captain America: Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's yeah for me. Yeah, Loki. Well, well, now, well, Loki. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Disney Plus. I'm assuming, I'm assuming so. yeah. I'm assuming so. Then Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah, but if it's everything, but if it's canon, if it's if it's canon shows, then Daredevil. It's Daredevil. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, we man. already know. Come on, Mario don't know about that, loser. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow, okay, so he says, uh, mine is Captain America Civil War. Fire. I think that movie That's is a fire... straight up 10 out of 10. Dude, it's a fire pick. Like, this movie blew me away. That movie came out 2016 when I was 15 years old, Yeah, I think. we were. Damn, 16. so he's a year younger than us? Yeah, so we're 16. Oh, shit, shout out to you, Oswey, what the fuck? We were 16. Yeah, mm. we were, damn, bro, what the fuck? I didn't even know that. Mm. Uh, on... Yeah, years old, I think. And to this day, that movie never fails. I'll revisit it here and there, and it still holds up. Dude, it's fire. And he says one last question. <laughs> Which is better, tacos? Uh, <laughs> carne asada or, ta- or tacos de chorizo? Asada. Bro. Uh, I, I al love pastor, Al pastor. Well, that's you see, true. that's my that's the best that's one. That's my favorite. But he didn't list that, so I guess asada. He don't know, man. Which, he don't know about it. Then. But al pastor, no, dude, fucking al pastor is the fucking go to. Yeah, it's the best. It's the but best. But out of these two, asada, asada, asada. Either, either. I, I like pastor too, but asada is still my number one. Damn, I mean, but I like I mean, chorizo good, too. Yeah, I like chorizo too. I don't know. It's just like chorizo. I'm I don't really way. have a lot of tacos at chorizo. That's the thing. Like I don't make it a lot. You know what? That's like nice. if I go to a restaurant, I'm either gonna get asada or something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's facts. Um, okay, so yeah, that's it from uh, Josue, man. Josu, shout out to you, man. I'm sorry we couldn't answer the whole fucking the first question. Yeah, the first question with, with <laughs> the fucking Hawkeye, man, with Ronan. Yeah, man. I mean, I don't. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I can only think of it which just Ronan, just doing Ronan things, man. Like, yeah, you know, Snoop, like li- listening in and shit. Like, okay. Uh, all right, so next one it's gonna be uh, Francis, bro. Shout out to you, Francis. Shout out, Francis. He has a couple questions. We're gonna go one by one. He says, if you could live in any movie universe for a week, which one would you choose and why? Okay, that's tough. That's any a fun movie question. universe? It's not, it's not as easy as you guys believe. He says, if you could live in any movie universe for a week, which one you, would you choose and why? So the problem about that question is that it's not an easy question to answer. Why do you say that? Because ah. just because if you're like, I want to live in the MCU... That's the, and it's like, that dang, mean, I got to go to work, but the hog throw my car. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, if you're, I want to live in the MCU. That doesn't mean you're an Avenger. See that? Mm. Okay, be, okay. He said movie. I, I want to be oh, in Star shit. Wars, but it doesn't mean you're a Jedi. That's what I say. Does that, you see what I mean? So, like, you can't really, like, I don't know. I would say in any movie universe. He oh, said? he said movie? He said any movie universe. Oh, movie. Oh, okay, never mind. That, that gets rid of my answer. <laughs> I'd want to live in, uh, I don't can, can our reasons be bullshit? 
I mean, sure. I mean, go ahead. Well, actually, no. My answer still holds up. Well, okay, explore. here's the thing. Can we decide what we are, or are we just average Joes? That's what I'm saying. I'm assuming we're just average Joes, because you said what universe. In that we case, like to any live in. universe is lame. Because the civil. I mean, I think it'd be pretty cool if, like, if I walked out and I don't know, I saw a Superman fly and shit. But I would fuck. Yeah, but then when Dark Side pulls up, it's a rap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. So it's like, yeah, uh, movie universe. I don't know. Movie universe. Okay, I'm assuming. Every rom com ever. No bad. <laughs> I'm assuming universe he means the like no franchises, book. right? It can't just be like a movie that like we like. like right. No, yeah, like, it has to be a universe. Fuck, dude. That's dumb. which one am I the most safe? Like where I won't die. Oh, dude. John Wick. Dude, I, oh my god, I was thinking about that for you. Because if you're an average Joe Schmo, you, you, you don't even know that shit exists. Exactly. You unless you're a fucking assassin. Man. Yeah. You wouldn't even know what's happening. Uh, nah, I, I think for me like, What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Dude, that nicely dressed man covered in blood doing Hell no. running down the street in the rain. Yeah, like the fuck's going on? Yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> nah, I but I, my day. I, I think for me, and the reason why I said, oh, shit, it wouldn't work after you said, like, oh, movies. But I was like, wait a minute, it does work. Okay. Even though that movie was shit. Okay. Is the the Avatar world. Because you can oh. be an average Joe Schmo and still bend. Yeah, there's a chance. Oh, you, oh that's smart, though. Yeah, that's because you, but no, don't get me wrong. You can still be a non-bender, though. Okay. But it's like it's very common to have bending in that world. Okay. So that's why I'll I'll pick the Avatar. All right, just to be different, I guess. <laughs> probably like the probably like the the Conjuring universe, man. Fuck nah, it. fuck that. <laughs> what? Why? The Conjuring, mm. hey man, fuck it, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, no, okay. I, no, here's the thing. I'm gonna be chilling, bro. I'm gonna just see the news. Oh shit. Yeah, like, that's how. But, that's, <laughs> but here's the thing. I'm just looking at the news. Oh, okay, but, fuck. But, you see, but you see why low key this is okay, kind fine. of a this is kind of a this is okay. kind of a this is kind Francis. of a, a boring question. Okay, okay Francis. Because I thought that was a good question. Be, no, I thought that was because, a good question because, too. Because because they're asking us as civilians, as average Joes. Like that's what I'm saying. Okay, can fine. our can our reasons be bullshit? May, okay, can but we maybe okay, up? maybe maybe he meant it the other way. Let's do that then. Okay, we answered for average Joes. Okay. Now let's answer that we could actually decide what we like. Okay, That's if we're in the MCU, that means we could have powers or okay. some shit and whatever. Mm -hmm. But we can only pick one power and so on. Like you have to give some type of reason, like why you want to be in this universe. So I'm not an average Joe. No, no, fuck it. Let's, the, we already gave our universe Joe, you want to be. Yeah, in. we already gave our average Joe answer. Now let's do one where we could fuck around. <laughs> well, in that case, I don't want to live in the Fast and Furious universe. Oh my fucking god. You survive would every explosion. Would. Survive every car oh, crash. Oh, you would. And yeah, what would you want? I'm invincible. I could drive cars like crazy, save the world. I mean, yeah. What about you? I could Morgan? defy the laws of physics with my fucking car. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'd be cool. And man. I'll never Racing die. And, and they never die. And That's if right. I die, they not really. Hell no. <laughs> I'll get brought back in another okay. decade. No, I, I, well, if, if I'm not an average Joe Schmo, then I'll then most definitely be in the Star Wars universe. I'll be a Jedi. You would want to be a Jedi. Either that or like in between. I'll be like what Ahsoka is. I think okay with me, man. Fuck, man. That's that's tough, bro. Mm. Uh, that's tough, man. Fuck it, man. The Conjuring universe, man. I'm gonna <laughs> hey, I hey. Be a demon. I'm, no, no. Yeah, he's no, one of the exorcists. No, I'm gonna be the one. Mother, I'm gonna be the one. Uh, like doing the exorcisms and shit. Like, oh hell, no. I'm gonna be in the houses, man. Like, hey, man. Like that. Hey, yo, what the? F <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, there's a fucking can that moves. Hey, yo. Stop. <laughs> Stop, bitch. The fuck? Hell no. Fuck that's you thinking, funny. Man? But fuck it. Uh, or, okay. Or, uh, realistically speaking, if we could not be average, obviously I'd want to be like in one of those superhero shit. Mm. And my superpower? Fuck, man. I'd want, I like flight. That'd be cool. But, dude, that's but, tough. But like you fuck around, not pay attention, hit a wall. It's over. Yeah, that's tough. You know what? Fuck it. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's look, let's add this. Let's add another thing to the question, man, to make it more interesting and stuff. Because I feel like we're probably not giving satisfying answers for Francis. Let's do it. Let's add another one. Let's do video games. A video game universe. Ah, oh, fuck. Mm. Ah, never That's mind. That's interesting. I was about to say Mass Effect, but I was like, wait a minute, never mind. I don't want to be in that situation. Oh, you know, actually, you know what? Oh, it's a movie. I was. Uh, he said movie. I thought of a TV. Okay, yeah, video. What about video games? Is there, uh, is there a video game universe? Oh, I got it. That'd be really cool. Cyberpunk. So, oh yeah, you could be an be average cool Joe one. and you're still living in a futuristic like world. That's, yeah, true. that's a cool one. That's cool. That's a very cool one. That uh, that'll be mine. Oh, he's a bitch. Cyberpunk. He's a bitch. Sure, man. Every other world fucking sucks, dude. You're 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 in peril. 
That's facts, bro. Yeah, Halo, fucking Last of Us, zombies. <laughs> That's facts, man. That's facts. Or, yeah. or you know what? You could, y'all, y'all could have Cyberpunk. I'll take Red Dead. Oh, oh that's, that's a good, good one. one. That's, that's a good, that's a good one. one too. Should be GTA. Great. Yeah, GTA. Yeah. yeah. I mean, right, that's now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally basically now. Dude. Yeah. Like, there's a bunch of crazy shit happening now. And yeah, just, that's we're not facts. Part of it. Um, oh, I think Cyberpunk is cool. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. But I don't. I don't want to take yours. Red Dead? Nah. Fuck that. What you mean? It's fucking Red Dead, bro. You but got, I, there's I, no. If you, when you're sick, you're dead, bro. There's no medicine. <laughs> you're but I could be an outlaw. It's only a week. And yet, Oh, he said a week. Yeah, that's right. Oh, wow. He did say a week. Mm. Oh, if it's a week, then fuck it. <laughs> I'll, jo- I'll do fucking... Uh, I'll be in the MCU, man. Fuck it, man. For a whole week, I got to survive it. <laughs> I just want to see the news. Like, oh, shit. Day two, bro. <laughs> Dormammu fucks into a portal. Hell no. <laughs> this had to happen today. Oh, no, no, no. The date... No, that's like five hours in, right? All I see is Galactus's hand, like... <laughs> Reaching into the <laughs> reaching into the earth. I'm like, oh shit, it's a wraps, man. <laughs> of all days he had to pick today. Yeah, but yeah, career. I forgot he said that a week. Yeah. Uh I don't know why I thought I thought Resident Evil, but I was like, nah, I'll be That's terrible. spooky as shit. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> Resident Evil. Silent Resident Hill. Evil, imagine Resident Evil, bro. <laughs> You're an average Joe, bro. No, he says he's an average Joe because he'd be one of the zombies that Leon is killing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he already dead, bro. Hey, as soon as he spawned, he's already dead. Okay, but that's oh it. My uh, God. That's, okay, that's the first question, man. Sorry, oh sorry, God. Francis. That's hopefully, uh, hopefully that was satisfying, bro. <laughs> okay, he says, um, if you could, oh, this was this is a good one. If you could interview any actor or director, living or deceased, for the podcast, who would it be, and what would you ask? We have the same answer. Do we? You and me, yes. And if we could, oh, okay, okay, yeah, like, come okay, on, sure, yeah, Super apps, bro. What do you want to say? It's James, James Gunn. Gunn. James Gunn for sure. And we would want to fucking ask him what the fuck going on with <laughs> the DC Slate girl. What's canon, bro? James Gunn would be really cool. Are the man. other Robins introduced in Batman? What the but, fuck. And then living or, but he also live. I mean, we could think of other ones because I know we said that. Um, Wait, what was the question again? Any actor? Any? Uh, oh, yeah, you're, yeah, we're tweaking. He said if you could interview any actor or director. No, I would he's want. Oh yeah, you're right. He's a director. So that counts. James Gunn. That counts. What about you, Mark? I would want the the OG creators of the Avatar world. See Ooh, what, see an what, actor. Let's do it for fun. For actor, Jason Statham. That is funny, actually. That would be fun. That would be cool. It was like, yo, man. So, transporter movies, man. We crank. <laughs> what the fuck? We're going out, man. Yeah, Jason cool, Statham. Bro. You know what would be really cool, bro? Is if they made a show. Oh my god, we could trademark this. What? You know how like impulsive like logan paul's podcast like yeah. he has a bunch of celebrities on his shit uh-huh. like recently he just had john cena that's crazy mm-hmm. oh, shit. i think what would be really cool would be a podcast mm-hmm. where you can invite celebrities like actors actors and you guys can sit down and like watch one of his movies <laughs> okay you know what i mean like if we had jason statham here we watch... like just pause it like yo bro so so like explain like what the fuck like he, like he could give commentary <laughs> like oh you know when we were filming that scene and, that'd like, be cool you know what it mean? probably like, wouldn't yeah. have to be the whole movie we have to like make a cut it down cut. yeah or something like that. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Or have it be like a super cut of a bunch of movies. Like, oh, this is like the first Transporter movie. Here's the first Crank. Oh, shit, this is when you did Homefront. This is from your first movie, the first movie you ever did. And, like, we could That'd just do an cool. interview where it's like, oh, like, when I was starting off in Hollywood. and Oh, this is where my career took. This movie blew me up. You know, but, like, just. That have, would be cool, yeah, bro. Man. That's a good idea. So if we were to have Statham, we would, I mean, we would like to interview him. But at the same time, let's, like, have a 20-minute long mega cut of his career. And have him talk about like his career. That, and shit that's like a that. really, really good idea. Yeah, bro, I like that. But have that be for every guest we invite on. That'd be sick. Type shit. So if we invite like Tobey Maguire, we we would bring up like Sea Biscuit and Long Fear and Loathing in La- Las Vegas, like the movies that he did in the '90s. But then we'll get to Spider Man, be like, dude, this is where my career took off. But like, okay, listen, man, hate to be a Debbie Downer, but Spider Man Three. So yeah, man, what you think like, of this movie? What you think of the reception, dude? Bro? That's a smart idea, bro. What you think of like when Write they canceled down. four? Yeah, it's not like we could do it now, but <laughs> that's a good idea. Dude, someone's gonna steal this, bro. Fuck. Whatever, man. That's a good idea, man. Okay. Oh yeah, you didn't answer, it, Mario. Any actor or director? That you oh, like to I, I said uh, the creators of the Avatar universe. What oh, their wow, plans okay. are. Nice. Because okay, we know cool. what what's coming up. I like. I want to ask them like, yo, give me some more details on that bitch. All right, shit, sweet. Um. I guess, uh, okay, yeah. He says, uh, another question. There's the next question. If you could witness the making of any movie, which one would it be and why? 
the making of any movie? It's almost yeah, the mm. making of any movie. That's interesting. That's a interesting. I would say if we could it, witness it, like I'm assuming, be behind the scenes, right, 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 and witness uh, the making of mine's kind of funny. I think mine right now would probably be the Batman. I knew it. Fucking knew it, man. The Batman. Mm, mine's funny, bro. Shit. Mine's would be or maybe Suicide, maybe Peacemakers. I know it's not a movie, but or Suicide Squad mm. from James Gunn. I want to, I want, I want to work with. I want to see. I want to be next to James Gunn. And be like, all right, man, what the fuck going on, man? Yeah, <laughs> hell no. Nah. No, mine would be the the Rise of Skywalker just to see what, oh, wow. what those fucking dumbasses were yeah, thinking. That's fact. Rise of Skywalker. I'd be like, yeah, y'all are idiots. No, <laughs> not really though, Mario. I mean, I'm have to make an argument. The only reason why Rise of Skywalker happened is because of Last Jedi. That's true. All right, so I'll say Last Jedi. Yeah, you uh, wanna, like Ryan Johnson. So you want to like subvert our expectations? Let me see. So you you're do just it. gonna like fucking make us mad, and because yeah. that, that's bold. Yeah. Let's do. Okay. Bro, Ryan Johnson, if you think about it, had the same mentality as Neil Druckmann. By pissing off the fan base, he thinks that's bold and profound. It's the mm. same shit. And when and when Hector finally gets to that movie and he need, and he finally understands what we're talking about, it just you know because every time we talk about this shit, we have to keep it vague. Because you know what sucks though, shit it's that. just that I could say a spoiler and he wouldn't even know. He'll forget Bro, it like Javi, a day. Here's one thing that Hector won't understand: the frustration we had because we had to wait for this. He's gonna have it all. Right then and there. That's facts. Like, I had to wait years for this shit. Oh, shit. That's facts, bro. I had to wait years for Force Awakens. Then I had to wait another two or a year for The Last Jedi. And it's like, that's it's three. what you... Three years for that movie. It was like... No. It was two, right? It two, had to be two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was tears. two. But it's like... He won't understand that that added layer of frustration. It's like, we had to wait for this? Jesus. Speaking of which, a uh, little side tangent. You remember my friend from work who started watching the uh, the Star Wars shit? Mm-hmm. So he finished Clone Wars. What do you think? He said it was fire. Yeah. Damn, and he I'm watched. Surprised. He watched. See, and he watched episode three. And now he said he's gonna jump into Bad Batch, Tales of the Jedi, and Visions. Damn. Well, Visions is not really necessary. It's th- those are old. Lead. That's not canon. But it's. I mean, I appreciate it. I mean, he's, he's, he's really is diving into. He's Star fucking Wars. diving it in, bro. More he's gonna love. He's gonna love Tales of the Jedi. He's gonna love that God shit, damn, bro. All right, what about you, Have You didn't answer the uh, question. The making of any the movie? The making of any movie. Which one would it be and why? Hmm, I don't know. I want to make it fun and let's do TV shows next. Because I, I, got, I got something. I don't know, man. The making of a movie. What, maybe Endgame? Oh, I already know. Spider-Man 2, girl. No, because I already one. know my That's TV really show answer. Interesting. Really? The making of Spider-Man 2? Like, why? That's the greatest movie ever, in your opinion. Well, sure, but I don't want to know the making of it. Like the making of oh, it would probably fuck. be, like you what you said with Endgame. Yeah, that one would be better because I would actually want to see how the directors managed to fit and cramp all the no, not Endgame and End, Infinity War. Oh, Infinity War. Because I would want to see like, damn, bro, how were y'all able to fit thirty something main heroes in one movie and make it feel fire? Because a movie this crowded should not work, and you guys made it work. So what were the ideas? How did they storyboard the fights? Like what got cut from the from the from the original movie? Like type shit. Like how did you know which characters to introduce? What was the whole bullshit with Ant Man and Hawkeye not being in this movie, but they were in the next one? Why did you make that decision? Like I'd want to understand why how they were able to make this fucking movie and shit. That's mm-hmm. a better that's a better understanding. Not even any of the John Wick movies. No, because John Wick is just John Wick. Mm. It's just, they film everything on site. The choreography, literally, they just go to a gym with a bunch of padding and shit. Mm-hmm. And they throw each other that. around, like, choreographed, like, wrestling and what shit. What about shows? Let's do shows. I have nothing. For me, it would be the making of Arcane. Ooh, Arcane. Okay. Because I'm so excited for season two, bro. Arcane. I think Arcane season two has officially jumped the, the live-action Avatar, considering what's been coming off of that. I guess with me, man, I'm still riding on that wave with fucking uh, Beef and the mm. Bear. And the Bear. But mostly like, like beef, bro. Like the way, like the, they did a lot of crazy shit on beef with beef, and I just I don't know, man. Just, I really like that show. Mm, okay. But the, and the bear was really good. But I would say the beef. I I would say they did a lot more. They start. I think they they're about to start filming the the bear in the new season real soon. Oh yeah. The new season. Okay, I think they're bro. filming Superman right now. They're filming. They're gonna start filming the bear real soon. And something else I fucking saw recently. I forgot what it was, though. Did you see the rumor, Hector, that the guy, the actor, that plays Richie? Uh-huh. He's going to be playing Ben Grimm. Ben, wait, who? The Thing. Wait, who's, the who's, yeah, who's playing him? Richie. Richie. From, From the, the Bear. Bear. 
Oh, him? People are saying that oh, he might shit. be he might what be playing fuck? yeah, he might be playing that he's rumored. Along with that Guess, rumor. Mm. Remember that oh. rumor of uh Pedro Pascal being Mr. Fantastic? Yeah. What's it called? I heard someone else left Thunderbolts. Yeah. Thunderbolts. The chick the, the chick from the bear. Yeah, her. That's why. That's one thing I was gonna bring up. The main chef chick. What's her name again? I forgot her name, but yeah, she left the bear. Yeah, I mean, she left uh, the. She left Thunderbolts, and then they were able to find her replacement like in half a second. They must have known ahead of time. I don't know. Yeah, so that's the only way. But yeah, she ended up leaving too. But who cares? I don't know. Wait, I I like her acting. From the. From the bear? Yeah. Oh, I'm like, I'm like. Oh, you're talking about the new chick. I was like, yeah, I don't know. Who oh, okay, then never mind, never mind. I don't even know what character she was playing, so like, he was probably some minor character. Mm, okay. They haven't even confirmed who's gonna play Sentry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, huh? That's like a whole, like mess right there, huh? Um. Okay. So the next question here. Let me see. Uh, what's a book or comic you wish you wish would be adapted into a movie? Oh, a movie. Fuck. A uh, book or a comic that would that you'd like to be adapted into a movie. I Ninja think the, Turtles isn't Ninja the Turtles? the last Ronin. Ooh, that's a good answer. That's, that's a good a, answer. That, that's a good one. That's a cool. Yeah, that's a good uh, answer. Aren't, aren't the, the Ninja Turtles Hector, die? Aren't the isn't the Metro games based off a of, uh, a book? I have no idea, bro. I think hey, they bro, are. Huck, Huckleberry Finn. This motherfucker. <laughs> What you know about Huckleberry Finn? No, but I, I swear to God, I, I think the Metro games are is based it? off of a, a, a light novel or some shit like that. And if that's true, then that because I I think that would be a that would those would make a great movie or really? a great trilogy. I'll, I'll look it up right now. Actually, hold up. I I could have yeah, looked it up. That'd be actually pretty. Oh uh, no, he said uh, Metro Metro. I don't know what that is. The Metro games, uh, first person shooters. Um... Metro Last Light, Metro 2033, Redux, Exodus. Oh, okay. It is it a book? It says, yes, there are many books, but the game is not really based on the book, but more based on the world that that book takes place in. Mm, interesting. Uh, but, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, I was somewhere right, I guess. But either way, I would love to see that. Yeah, that that, w- that would be good. Um, on, I guess... <clears throat> Yeah, you did give a good answer. What did he say? He him? Yeah. Oh, he the said, uh, the last Ronin. Yeah, that the last Ronin. Ninja Turtles girl from Ninja Turtles. Isn't the game based on that? Yeah. Yeah. The game that they're making is gonna be based on it. I just hope it's good, bro. Actually, I'm gonna look it up. What's the developer? Oh yeah, check out developer. I'll, I'll be able to and check developer, and I'll tell you if and check the developer and check their gaming history, their gaming catalog. For and I'll me, be, and I'll tell you if you have faith or for not. For me, with the, what the faith. I guess I could do comics. I mean. I guess I like. I really like to see Crisis on Infinite Earths. That'd be cool. Like a that was done like, in the uh, in the CW. Yeah, but like, um, like movie. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm talking about like movie, movie based yeah. and actually done good. I think it, on the CW. It was actually or done maybe well. the Killing Joke. That was That'd animated. Cool. Yeah, that was animated. But, yeah, but I'm saying like you're mm-hmm. saying movie though. That, that I'm, I'm thinking, I'm movie. Thinking, well, I'm thinking of like live action. Oh, live oh. action. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Um, that'd be cool. Uh, and yeah, I think I can only mostly Crisis on Infinite Earths, man. I, that would be sick, bro. That's like a multi movie type thing. It could happen, bro. That would be cool. It bro. could happen. Or, I mean, I guess, I mean, mm, uh, I guess I'm riding the current wave right now. All Star Superman. Uh, that's that's a cool storyline I really like. When do you think we're gonna get our first Superman trailer? Because I know they're filming right now. So, like, you think our like first Superman trailer? You think, Shit, you dude, think. Fuck. Because the movie comes out next year, right? Yes, 2025. So shouldn't yeah. we get a trailer by the end of this year? Sometime. Something like that. The rumor is that we're going to be getting a Deadpool 3 teaser in the Super Bowl. That would make sense. Oh, really? they just wrapped filming. But I feel like because they just wrapped filming, there's no way they're going to polish up any CGI to make it. To make a super fast trailer teaser or whatever. For I this. mean, if it's a teaser, it only has to be like 30 seconds. I don't know, man. Oh, Mario, the the last Ronin game is being developed by Black Forest Games. What's their catalog? The developer's best known for its remakes of Destroy All Humans and Destroy All Humans 2. That's all they have? That's what they're best known as. I was going to say, if it's a remake, I can't really judge them based off a remake. Black Forest Games made Fade to Silence, 
Rogue Stormers, Bubsby, The Woolly Strikes. They look they don't they don't look promising. I was gonna right. say yeah. all right, Your so face should be uh, okay, so now. the next uh Titan person. Quest. Titan Quest? Titan Quest. Show me the picture. I never Does that, that look familiar? No. no. It's Fate to Silence is Straw Humans remake. No, that's it, bro. So your faith should be, eh, cause I feel, I feel like they're just not proven yet. You know, who knows? It could be still good, but yeah, there's no reason to have faith for it right now, in my opinion. Then, but uh, continue, Hector. Yeah. Okay. So uh, okay, we got the. That's it from. Okay, that was Francis, right? Yeah, that was. All it right, from, shout that out was it, That was it bro. from Francis. Oh, so next we're moving on with uh, Sheldon Y, another mm-hmm. Sheldon man. Uh, he says, "Hey man, it's been a while since I've listened to you guys' podcast, but I'll jump on that episode tomorrow." I think he's talking about one of the recent ones. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I recently listened to the Godzilla Minus One episode, and it was great and still love your guys' energy. I highly recommend you guys watching Shin Godzilla. And also, Dude, I brought that one up. Yeah. Yeah. On the review of Minus One, I heard that movie was fire. Yeah, that's why uh, he mentioned it again. Yeah, bro, and that was another Godzilla movie that was made in Japan. Mm. And from what I understand, it's disconnected from, like, Minus One and all that. It's its own thing. But, dude, I've been hearing good shit about that since, like, three years ago. And I've heard so like that movie came out a, three years ago. No, it came out 2016. Mm. But I've heard recently in the last few years, I've had people recommend it to me. And I want to check it out, bro. It won a, it won a bunch of awards. And yeah, we got to like check that. it out. Okay. But and I he also it says, uh, and I also, and also the anime Godzilla trilogy on Netflix. Oh, oh yeah. I've, I've seen that. Those. I seen, I've, I've heard seen about that. those. I never checked them out. Me neither. I want to. Uh, he says, again, it's great to listen to you guys. Love the grind and keep it up. Thank you, bro. He I'm also sure. uh, sends a, he sends me a uh, post right that it shows that it's a who is this um, Matthew Vaughn? Yeah, Matthew Vaughn uh, teases uh, the snippets that I know are unbelievable. Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman are about to save the whole Marvel universe. Yep. And he asks, uh, "Do you guys have any high hopes for Deadpool? Especially how Echo Bobby was does. just completely dog shit." <laughs> <laughs> so, first and I, of all, and I told him, I'm like, did you listen to our Echo review? If you're not, you should. That's where we actually talk about uh, Deadpool. Yeah. So we gave our thoughts on that, and he hasn't seen that yet. Okay. Um, What's it called? I don't know if you guys did see that. Matthew Vaughn, he's the guy that made Argyle. I, mm-hmm. I yeah, he, I only saw um, what's it called? I only saw it because he sent it to me. Yeah, he said that he believes Deadpool three is going to save the MCU. Oh shit, bro. Now, to be honest with you, I only read headlines. I don't like click on the article and read on. Do you feel me? <laughs> so that's all I read. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't know. If, I don't know if he gave specifics uh-huh. as to how it's going to save it. But he just said that Deadpool three will save the MCU. That he has high hopes. He also said that it was very weird that James Gunn casted the actress to play Supergirl. I don't know if you saw that, Hector. You saw that that they finally casted a Supergirl. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's the girl that. from saw, House of Dragons. It's the girl from the House of Dragons. Why, why that, you say that's weird? He says it's weird because a movie should have should have hired a director first, then the actors. He said it's weird that we're hiring actors first before directors. Mm-hmm. He said that's a weird call. Interesting. He didn't diss James Gunn. He said James Gunn's a fucking idiot. He didn't say that. He just said it's weird that they casted the actress first before the director. That's what he said. And honestly, I don't. I'm not a filmmaker. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it, or if it's better that way. But I mean, interesting. I don't know. I mean, it is true. There's no director, no writer, nothing attached to that super that Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow movie. Yeah. But we did get the actress, and it's the girl from House of Dragon, which is the Game of Thrones prequel show. Yeah. That came out on HBO Max. That apparently is fire. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't know. I haven't seen it. But uh, yeah, he did say that it was weird that they casted the actress before they casted a director. Hmm. And he also said that Deadpool 3 will save the MCU. Hey, man. Hopefully, bro. Hey, but Jesus. while we're on the topic, Hector, I, yeah. I don't know if you have any thoughts. What do you think about the actress that got cast? I don't know who that. I mean, I haven't seen uh, the House any of her shit. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen any of her shit. I don't know shit. who she is. But the thing yeah. is, man, listen, bro. I'm a broken record at this point. I'm sorry. I just got to trust James Gunn, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to believe him. See in, some in that I Gunn, don't. We trust. No, especially because, listen, bro. A lot of characters are making appearances in Superman Legacy. And this is something that Hav and I always had an issue with in previous movies in the DCEU. And obviously, you know, we're not uh, we're not going to be hypocritical. I mean, uh, it's just it's just so weird that we've always had an issue with that. But yet it's happening again in Superman Legacy with James Gunn. And 
I just, I mean, I always thought it never worked doing that. Clearly, what we have, we both agree, and it just didn't work. But maybe James Gunn can make it work. Yeah. Right? That's where interviewing him would come in handy. Yeah. Because it would be like, listen, bro, you're introducing a lot of shit. Are you sure you're going to be able to balance it all? Yeah. Because, like, one thing I'd want to ask is, who's the villain here? Because I'm assuming it's know. I'm assuming it's the authority because you're introducing them. Yeah. But at the same time, you also casted Lex Luthor. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, dude, and like so many heroes, man, are making Guy Gardner, Hawk Girl, Mister Terrific. Mr. Uh, Who was another one? Supergirl too. No way. Yeah, she's gonna be in the movie. Mm-hmm. I thought they just casted her. That was it. Uh, she's apparently gonna make an appearance as well. Oh my fucking god, bro, dude. What? It's a lot, dude. That is a lot. It's a lot. Bro, it's a fucking three-hour movie. It's a lot, dude. And that's Wait, why... Is? Yeah, huh? Mario, can you fact check this for me? The three-hour movie? No, I'm what assuming. you're saying. Oh. Saying, With all the bullshit Mario, that he's check? adding. Can you fact check that the new Supergirl that like, was casted is going to make an appearance in Superman Legacy? Mm. I could have sworn I saw that. Let's let's fact check that. Unless it's a rumor, bro. A lot of people like to spread yeah, shit know, on threads could... and Twitter. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I go on threads and I see rumors about bullshit that I'm like, come on now. Well, no, I saw it. It was a headline from my app, but... Oh, so uh, okay, never mind. Yeah, but I just want to fact check it, man. Um, but either way, even okay, minus her, right? Let's say it's minus her. That's it's still, it's still a, a lot, lot of characters, bro. dude. And I'm just worried because this is the critique that we've always had, Hav. And I'm just wondering, can he pull it off to the point where we don't feel like how we felt with fucking Batman v Superman? Did you find anything? Yeah, I got this. I got the House of Dragon star Millie Alcock has landed the role of Supergirl, Supergirl, and will make her debut in next year's super next year's movie Superman Legacy. Yep, that's a lot, bro. How? What do you think now, man? That's fucking crazy, dude. dude I think Hop Live. Dude, James Gunn is going crazy He's going right crazy, now. Crazy, dude. James Gunn is going crazy, dude. Dude, I'm so scared. Here's my thing, though. Here's my thing. He confirmed Guy Gartner, yeah. Green Lantern. He confirmed Hawk Girl. He confirmed Mr. Terrific, which are all heroes. Oh, and uh, uh, what's it called? A Metamorpho is going to be in there. But is he a villain or a hero? He's a villain. Oh, fuck, bro. Okay, here's my thing. Like, Or wait, actually, or anti? I don't know. Here, let me look him up real quick. Because my thing is, bro, is like, I don't mind if they're in the movie. The people I just listed. I don't mind, right? But if it's like one scene, you feel me? If it's like one scene where it's like him communicating. Yeah, yeah, he's a villain, bro. He's a villain. Metamorpho's a villain. What's his powers, real quick? Like, what's his abilities? Because I'm assuming. Metamorphosis. I'm assuming. He's, he's, pretty, he's pretty OP, man. Because, okay, if he's that OP, then he I'm assuming he's going to be the villain of Superman, no? Probably, then, yeah. Lex Luthor, like, I'm sure Lex Luthor's not going to have his mechanic. Yeah, I, could, I, I could pull up his power list. Cause I, dude, if he's a villain and he's in this bitch. But even Luther was introducing. He's going to make an appearance as well. Right. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's so yes, much. Yes, uh, he has the ability to transmute his his body into a wide ver- variety of elemental compounds and form them at will. So, yeah, like, so he could, so he um could, like, shape his, his arm, like, into, like, a huge-ass mace or, like, a sword or, like, a... Kind of like Green Lantern. Type shit. No, right? right. But it's his body. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, bro. I don't know. Like, how would you do that? Unless he decides to link up. So, yeah, he says he can fly. He's a super strength. Um, if I give him a degree of... He has a... Gives him a degree of invulnerability. He's bulletproof. Mm. And he's uh, extremely hard to hurt. Uh, shape-shifting. Oh, dude, he has to be the villain. He has to be. Luther would probably be a side character. And he probably what if he, like, hires villain. him? Maybe. I don't know. It could be that. I don't know. I could see Luther like, they What if Lex him? Luthor's not a villain in this movie yet? No, like, right, exactly is what I'm saying. Yeah. Because Luther's always a villain. Yeah. He's always been a villain. So maybe he's just doing villain shit. Mm-hmm. But, like, he doesn't become a threat till the second movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude, Metamorphos could be OP. Dude. Yeah, bro, because there's no way. But here's the thing, Hector. Hear me out. It's a lot of people, bro. <laughs> bro, but here's the thing, it's right? It's whole crew, Hear me man. Out. It's a whole crew. <laughs> but here's my thing, Hector. Hear me out, right? Guy Gartner, Green Lantern, Hot Girl, and Mr. Terrific are set to se- are set to appear. Yeah. It's not to say that they're side characters. It's not to say that they're going to be throughout the whole movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? My thing is, like, what if they're just in one scene? 
Yeah. Like, let's say in the beginning of the movie, right? Like, they all meet up somewhere in the, on a rooftop. It's like, so like, what's up, y'all? Oh, shit, what up, hot girl? Blah, blah, blah. And it's like, oh, shit, those are cameos of other heroes. Yeah. And they all talk, and then they all fly off, and you don't see them again for the rest of the movie. See that? That's fine, then. But if I you're going to... I think it'll be like But if that. they're going to be Superman's little sidekicks throughout the whole movie, even though it's called Superman Legacy, but now he's being piled around with Green Lantern, Hot Girl, Mr. Terrific, I don't understand what's going on here. Like, now that feels crowded. Yeah. If they're set as cameos, like little, like, one scenes of them just communicating or whatever, or maybe Metamorpho is a villain that he that he links up with uh, Green Lantern, Hot Girl, Mr. Terrific... They're not quite the Justice League. It's more like Justice League Light. Yeah. There's only four of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, four of them. What if they just link up once in the movie to fight Metamorpho and they defeat him? All right, good job, guys. I'll see y'all later. And then the rest of the movie is Superman doing his own thing. Yeah. If it's like that, then I understand. Mm-hmm. I think I think we're overblowing the... I think we're just overthinking yeah, it, Hector. Prob- I think yeah, we're, probably. We're, we're, we think that... We just, just got to trust them, man. Yeah. I think we just think that they're going to be side characters. And, and like... Throughout the whole movie, but I don't think that's going to be the case, yeah. bro. Uh, but that was okay. Um, yeah, that, that who, who, fuck, I lost it again, man. Fuck, where were we, bro? I think we went on a tangent, didn't we? I think so. No bullshit. <laughs> didn't we? Okay, that okay, that was. Oh yeah, that was from. Sh- oh yeah, 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 that was from Sheldon. Uh, why? Because he sent the whole like, are you excited for D- for Deadpool and shit? And then mm-hmm. we just went on this whole. Tangent, yeah. Okay, so next up, next up, next up. Let's get it. Um, okay, so, so once again, yeah, Sheldon. Sheldon M this time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, he says, uh, favorite movies from the 80s, 90s, and 2000s from any genres. All right, Fuck. 80s. Uh, that's easy, Star Wars. He's at 80s, 90s, and 2000s. That's not, not fair, Mario. What a bitch. Hey, man, they were made in the 80s. Well, nah, but not the first one, but the other two, okay, yeah. Nah, I'm bitch. Oosh. I see the prequels, dumbass. Movies, <laughs> so fucking late. <laughs> Maybe like in the nineties, bro. It's Terminator Two. When did the Alien movies come out? Weren't those the nineties? No. Or those the eighties? Favorite movies. I I don't really watch that like movies that old, man. The first My Alien mom's. movie. Hmm. The no. The first Alien was nineteen seventy nine. Same year as Star Wars One. No, no, Star Wars came out in 77. Early 2000s, I guess it's easy. Spider-Man 2. Ooh. Yeah, Transporter Spider-Man. movies. I fuck with those. Aliens, the second movie was 1986. Mm. That's a good question, dude. I'm going to be honest, man. Like, I don't really watch movies like from that like era. I probably should, man. I should watch Fuck. Movie. But, I, I, yeah, I... Yeah, I can only think of like superhero shit because that's what I grew up on, like early. As far as early '90s, days. bro, the best '90s movie for me is Terminator Two, Judgment Day. That is the best '90s movie I could think. I was of. about to say I can't really think of '90s movies. 2000s? You guys have anything? 2000s? Early 2000s? I'd probably say Spider Man, Sh- Shrek, Spider-Man Two. Shrek's a good one. Yeah, Shrek Two. Shrek Two is the Shrek Two. Shrek Two is fire. Shrek 2. Movies from the 80s. Uh, I mean, I've never seen Wally. them, but Indiana Jones. I like I've never seen any of them. The Indiana Jones movies. The Predator movies. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, the Predator movies, yeah. Evil Dead. Oh, oh Evil Dead, man. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Uh, I've never seen any of them. I need, need, Breakfast Club is a good movie. Oh, yeah, that is a good movie. E.T. That's a classic right there. The original there. Tron. The oh, Rambo wow. movies. Oh, aren't ooh, they making, yeah, aren't they the making a, a Tron show? They're ooh, making ooh, something. Ooh, ooh. A Jackie Chan's police story. Uh, that's early two thousands. I fuck. I'm counting that. All right. Okay. Okay. That here's was the thing. I'm excited here's for that thing. Tron shit. Low key. Doesn't he mean? want us to pick like one movie? He says favorite movies from eighties, oh, nineties, oh, and two thousands. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine, we're fine then. So we're just, we could, we could put multiple ones yeah. from any genres. Yeah. Any Dude, genre? actually, yeah. The po- Jackie Chan's uh, police story. I know there's multiple ones. I'm trying to think of which one it was. I, dude, I watched that movie so many times as a kid, bro. Yeah, me too. That's a really good movie. Um, fuck, dude, what is it? What is it called? It's just Jackie a Chan. new, a new police, police story. story. That's the one with the bank robbers, right? With yeah. the masks. That's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, dude, that one's fire. It's, fuck yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm locking that one in. That one, yeah, that one's fire. Yeah, yeah. actually, man, I gotta rewatch that one. It's good. Bro. Me rewatching something. That's For like, real. No, that's facts. That's facts. I that's can't think childhood. of movies in the '80s. I mean, there's a bunch that I yeah, list, but I haven't bro. seen any of those. 
No, I seen the Predator, the old Predator movies. They're good, huh? You like them? I gotta check them out. So shout out to you, bro. Okay, so he had, yeah he asked another question. Oh, this is a really good question, man. This is a really good one. Uh, what does your family think of the podcast? Or yeah. do they know you guys have a podcast? That's a good question. Mine doesn't. Mine doesn't either. They don't know at all. Mm-mm. Well, no. So with me, I'm a. I never told my family. I never told my family, but I'm assuming they're catching on. At least my siblings. My brother knows. Marvin knows. That mm-hmm. makes more sense. Yeah. yeah. He knows. My sister, my older sister, uh, she. I never told her, but I think she caught on. Cause you know how we, cause we record in my at my house, guys, and and since you know I share the my room with my brother, so we have like a half basement thing going on. It's pretty big, it's pretty spacious. So I share it with him, and I don't have a door, so like we're out, we're down there. Why are you laughing, bitch? <laughs> the way you said it, I don't have a door, bitch. I don't know what, I don't know what to do. Basement. Yeah, man. So I share control. it with my brother. So we're down there and we record there, guys. Mm. And obviously we could be loud and stuff like yeah. that. And I remember my sister, uh, what's it called? I guess my family, my like my, my family was being loud. And then my I heard, uh, I went upstairs to get water or something. And then my sister was like, oh, yeah, like, keep it down because uh, cause someone, like, he's recording. And I'm like, what the fuck? Mm. How the hell do you know that? I didn't say it. Yeah. I just left. Like, oh, shit, she knows. She caught on. I'm assuming maybe Marvin told her something. Probably. But my but my parents, I doubt it i don't think my parents know uh will we ever tell them i mean i mean i like to keep things private guys um to be honest if they find out on their own whether like because we become successful that's different uh but yeah uh that's a good question but yeah okay you no no one knows from your family nope nah i mean that makes sense bro y'all fucking come over to my crib yeah Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We up, we up. <laughs> yeah, y'all bitches. Oh, it's me. <laughs> y'all bitches, man. It's funny. We, it's funny I say that because we're currently recording in Mario's house. Yeah, that's fact. Where no one's home. Where no one's Convenient. home. Convenient. Yeah, his, his family went to Mexico. Mm-hmm. Shit. But yeah, okay, that's it from Sheldon M. Man, shout out to you, bro. So we got okay. We got more questions from uh, a couple questions from Ramiro. Man, shout out to you, man, Ramiro. Yeah. He says, well, this is more of like a, yeah, yeah, this question. Uh, he says, review of King of the Hill show, when? <laughs> hashtag, King of the Hill, bro. Hashtag the boy, that boy ain't right. Dude, that King of the Hill. Right. I've never Dude, watched that you never seen I that watched as a kid? Never yeah, watched. I watched I've seen that as a kid, bro. I seen, yeah, I've seen that. Because nah, it would always go on after Family Guy. That's why. Wasn't it in Cartoon Network? Yeah, it was in Adult Swim. Adult Swim, yeah. Adult Swim, yeah. Dude, fucking King of the Hill, man. Listen, man. Mm-hmm. I have, I have <laughs> gotten messages. Yeah. You know yeah. I've gotten some uh, to review. Dude, there's like so many seasons, probably, man. How the there's fuck? There's a do lot. Dude, that? Family Guy's still going. Imagine how many seasons Family Guy's have. Dude, Pads. I feel like those are like impossible to review. Yeah. Unless like you really it's fucking. 13 seasons. Yeah, dude. That's It's still crazy. going. It's, oh, wow. King yeah. of the Hill. Wow. That's tough to review, bro. Um, but either way, so l- listen. So I have gotten messages from other people. From I don't you think guys. it's tough to review. Why would it be tough to review? Uh, well, not just. Gosh, it it's more of just catching up. Yeah. It depends how we do it. Like we either can't. S- you wouldn't. You can't. You no one could about? review it season by season. You have to review it as a show overall because a show that we that could do deep. S- well, we well that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like you can't review cops. That's what I'm saying. Cops season by like season 40 is crazy. Seasons long. So I feel like if you were to review a show like American Dad or King of the Hill or South Park. If we were to do season by season, it. we'd have to grind that out until like we're caught up. And then every new season, review each Exactly. Season. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying why it's tough. Yeah, it'd be tough. You would just have to review one video to review the whole thing as a fo- as overall. Yeah, but then what, if, what about the next season? What then? You don't make another season. You just... Give your thoughts on a Family Guy and then move on. Yeah, but then the new then the new season drops. Like you, you're not gonna review the next season. I wouldn't. But that's my point. You see what I mean? Like that's tough. Like if I can't, like if I'm not able to do that, I might as well not review it. Mm. Like I'd want to do sense. everything. If that makes sense. Mm. So, but and it's still going, man. Jesus fucking Christ. Well, listen. So, anyways, what I was saying, I have gotten a bunch of messages of people recommending stuff. Yeah, like even show like old movies or shows and that's like i said guys right now we're just focusing on the latest stuff and hopefully uh once we garner like a bigger uh, audience maybe we could start and 
maybe we could start doing older movies and stuff and maybe put them behind Patreon or something. I don't know. We could figure something out. Um, but yes, yeah, sorry to disappoint. Sorry to disappoint you, man. Uh, but who knows, man? Maybe in the future. So yeah, he has two more questions. Uh, his next one is, uh, "What's y'all thoughts on Bay Former's Optimus being a literal psychopath in the five films?" Hmm. What's he talking about? He said Bay Former's Optimus. Bay like, Former's Optimus. Bay Former's. Michael Bay? Is he talking about Michael Bay's Transformers? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Michael Bay's and Optimus, Optimus being Optimus Prime. Yeah, being a literal psychopath in the five films. Bro, we haven't seen any of the other fan, uh, Transformers. I, I mean, I know there's one movie where like he kind of goes like rogue, but in terms of all five, he's not. The fucking, Last Night. I think it's that one. I forget. There's one where he goes rogue. But I heard in that one he barely has screen time. He only shows up at the end of the movie. Yeah, he, it, yeah. I've seen. I'm pretty sure I've seen all the all the Transformers movies, but I'm pretty sure that's the only one where he goes crazy, in my opinion. Like where he's like going bad. Because in the other ones, he's how you guys have seen him. Okay. Like stoic. So and yeah, shit. sorry to disappoint again, Ramiro. Fuck, we haven't seen those movies, bro. I mean, I. I mean, I the only ones we've seen are the new ones, like Bumblebee and. Well, you yeah. guys, yeah. Right. I remember seeing the older ones, but I was a kid, man. No, but, I, I actually remember those movies fairly well. Deadass. You've yeah, because I enjoyed them. Not gonna lie, they were like they were cool. They were cool, lie. man. No, and I their designs was pretty cool. Yeah, man. Mega Fox too. Yeah. Woo. Hey, yo, all right. <laughs> but Shout yeah, Ramiro, man. Sorry to disappoint again, dude. Fuck, man. Hopefully, we get this next question, man. Oh my, no, it's another disappointment. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Uh, have y'all cop Tekken Eight? <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> so hot. The question. Uh, the game is popping. Uh, Kazuya I- main here fighting game of the year twenty twenty four. What's it called? One thing I will give Tekken its props is Tekken because eight. you can create your own fighter, and it's really good. I Whoa, saw one where some dude made Hitler. <laughs> no, no, I don't think I don't think that's it, bro. What? I don't think you can create your own character. Is really? that you? It's 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 pre-existing characters in the game of the roster. You could just oh. customize them. Oh, that's oh. what it is. And there's there's a customization feature where you could customize the fighters to be different people. So they've been, there's been people who have been customizing the Tekken characters to look like people from other properties. Oh, okay. Well, either that's way, that's what cool. It is. Okay, that's cool. That's either what way. you're seeing. Yeah, that shit's funny. No, it's, it's Street Fighter Six. That's the one where you can create your own avatar, your own person, just your own character. Oh, character. okay. That's, that's what I thought. But with it was. Tekken, it's just like it's like you could take like King, right, the motherfucker with the Jaguar mask, mm. and you could just customize them with different clothing and shit like that. Okay. But that's what it is: is that you could customize characters. There's people that made Luffy from One Piece. I seen that. I, you said Hitler. I swear to God, I saw I've Hitler. seen him. Chill on it. We're on YouTube. I would chill. Bitler. There we go. <laughs> Bitler. It's a different kind Hitler. Of, it's a different, you know, type of Bitcoin. Yeah. Uh, Bitler. <laughs> buy, my, buy my Bitler, y'all. Bitler, man. No, there's ones where they've customized uh, it and shit, yeah, bro. The like, customization creative. is crazy. Yeah, it is. Because they actually look like the shit. Mm-hmm. It's insane. That's yeah, funny. bro. That one's but yeah, cool. Tekken Eight, man. I heard great things about it. I mean, I have we've played Tekken before. I went with like our cousin Fabian and stuff. Mm, with our yeah. cousin. He had seven, oh. which I believe came out twenty seventeen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty seventeen. So it's been a while. Damn, it's, it's been a fucking minute. It's been dude. a minute since Tekken came out, and now this one came out. And dude, I've been hearing nothing but high praises about Tekken. Yeah, dude. I'm hearing that Tekken is better than Mortal Kombat. I've been hearing oh, that it's fight that it's Damn. fucking fire, bro. A lot of people are That's good. I've heard a lot of people, like reliable people, like people who invest in both gaming, specifically fighting games, mm-hmm. like YouTubers and shit. Like I've heard a lot of people say that Tekken Eight has is got to be the best Tekken game yet. Wow. Of all of them, since like Tekken Five, which like is considered to be like the last best fucking the best Tekken of all time. They said mm-hmm. that this one is like. Up back there. to being the best. Oh wow! And it's because of a bunch of stuff, dude. Like I watched one video; it's like twenty minutes long that broke down why it was good. And dude, this game has so many mechanics, so much shit that other games lack on. Like for example, I'll just give you one example. You know how in every fighting game there's a training mode, like a tutorial yeah. that teaches you how to like perform moves and shit. In Tekken Eight, you can do something like in training where you could find a, where you can fight like a bot, and. You could just fight a regular, like, 20-second match against the bot, and the bot will, like, hit you mm-hmm. and shit. It'll hit you in the face. It'll kick you on the on the legs. Then what it does is that the game will replay your fucking fight and go, look, bro, the bot hit you in the face. Here's where you fucked up. 
mm. because you didn't block you didn't block or duck the your opponent was able to hit you in the face so it literally go it does like some weird analyzation bullshit where it analyzes your footage and tells you where you messed up so that next time that's crazy you know how to avoid those punches and shit and it improves you to be a better other character. games don't have that no bro wow they don't give you though dude they don't they don't record a 30 second clip of your gameplay against the bot and then goes back and shows you every single point you fucked up at that's mm. fucking next level bro yeah. that's some ai shit what the fuck yeah, that's good. they also introduced a bunch of mini games like they introduced tekken ball again which i didn't know what that was it's a little mini game where you literally have a little ball like a beach ball and you it's two players and you hit the ball with like a special move uh-huh. and depending on how hard you hit the ball hits the opponent and the opponent's life goes down so uh-huh. just literally just hitting this ball back and forth between people until one of them dies okay they said the net code for playing online is fire you can link with people from japan and like link with people with mexico and like connecting to matches from all over the world connects fire like there's no lag there's no input delay I mean, that's very like important that. in finding games uh the story mode i heard it it plays like a regular story mode because like story mode in tekken games in the past have been kind of weird it's like a weird open world like type bullshit i don't mm. know it's like weird this one actually feels like a story mode like the mortal kombat story mode that we played when i brought oh, okay. my ps5 people said the story was fire people said the gra- like just the engine they're running it on unreal 5 dude the graphics look fire that's dude. the future huh dude that's that game looks, game dude, that game looks fucking crazy that game looks better than mortal kombat but that, everything's gonna run on unreal engine 5 i huh? know dude i know and dude and it looks fire and low key like because i've been hearing all this shit because i'm like i'm gonna wait out on tekken bro if anything if i'm gonna spend 70 dollars suicide squad's coming out so i'd rather buy that um but i was like i'll wait out on tekken but like now after hearing all this shit i'm like damn low key i've been having that I've been having that like fighting game itch, bro. Low key, because I'm not. I'm not. I don't think I ever told you guys. I'm kind of falling off Mortal Kombat. Why? A bunch of shit, bro. There's some shit that I'm not fucking with this game. I think. Really? Yeah, bro. I was hyped when it first like got what? In. The store. The what? The story has. No, Wait. the story I actually like. No, the, the store. Oh, like microtransactions. That's one problem, but it's not something that bothers me because I've never given into Michael transactions. Mm-hmm. I never given. I'm not, I'm not weak. I'm not like, oh, like you know what I mean. That's just, it's just little things, bro. Like that whole shit where like you have to, you can level up your characters. Like you can level them up level two, level three, level, and each level grants you a different piece of uh, customization. Like you mm-hmm. can customize um, Scorpion's mask or his spear, or whatever. And if you eventually, if you reach level 15, that unlocks their second fatality. Because in Mortal Kombat, every combatant has two fatalities. You always start off with one, but to get the second one, you have to reach level 15. My biggest issue with Mortal Kombat, the reason why I don't like playing it, is because of this whole leveling up system. This shit where you got to level up your characters to unlock their second fatalities, to unlock p- different pieces of, uh, of, of gear. Because you can collect gear and customize your Scorpion to look different. Mm-hmm. The reason I don't like it is for the same reason I didn't like GTA Online. It's grindy. Dude, when you fight a match with your with your character and your like cameos, remember the cameo show yeah. your assists? Bro, you could have a you could have a flawless victory, right? You don't get hit once. You can perform a fatality. Uh and like all that shit, right? The amount of XP you gain per match is so small. Fuck. It's rigged to get you to play the game more so that you could level up your characters. That's the worst. And man. for me, because it's such a grind and I feel like I'm not making progress, I just kind of fall out of like... I feel you on that. Out of like passion to play the game even more. And the thing is, is that with every normal character, they go up to level 35. The cameos go up to level 15. See how it's half? That means the XP that the cameo fighters get are even less than what your characters get, because their because their highest level max is 15, whereas your your combatants are 35. So when you gain XP for your cameos, it's even it's like maybe a third of what your character gets. So dude, it's just how grindy it feels, and the fact that, that sucks, I want to level them up, and like one of the trophies, dude, literally I have like three trophies I have to unlock left. And one of those is because like, oh, gain mastery on five cameos characters, which just means level them up all the way. Bro, at this rate with the XP, at least with Call of Duty every now and then, hey, 
what remember the double xp weekend oh yeah like every yeah. now and then like at least i, I would take that weekend at aprovecharlo right and i would grind the shit out of like free yeah. for all or team deathmatch they don't even have shit like that for mortal kombat and dude when you that see sucks, how much bro. xp you gain for your characters it's so little that it becomes a grind yeah fuck it that. reminds me of gta online like you would do all these heists and these missions and you'd make money and you make good money right you would even go as far as to set it up to hard because that would be 1.5 XP. Remember that? And yeah. double money. But then, oh, you got to rebuy all your ammo. Or shit, you totaled your car. Now you got to call the mechanic to fix it. And just as easily as how much you make that money in GTA, you lose that money buying ammo and paying your gu- and um, fixing your car and all that shit. And it just feels like a grind. Like, bro, like how long did it take you to get a high-end apartment? Think about that. Yeah, man. Took legit, a grind. Yeah, man. Bro, Dude. yeah, legit, right? I got mine because remember they gave us like that first like bonus. Like, yeah. hey, we'll give you a million. Dude, I got, like, that's what I, used to buy. I got my high end shit. I got my high end apartment in GTA like naturally, just saving up my money. It was uh, such a fucking uh, grind. Yeah, it takes dude. a grind, it yeah. Sucked. And then obviously, because I wasn't playing GTA Online when they introduced the shark cards, and I remember you said oh, that yeah. was some shit. Like, I don't know what that was exactly. Shark cards, yeah, they're a microtransaction, so you pay real money to get GTA money. Okay, that's what I had. Okay. Yep. You see, so they introduced microtransactions. And the thing is, with Mortal Kombat, like, they also have microtransactions. Like, mm-hmm. I think $80, real money, $80, it's $8 million in GTA. And that's that's piss money in fucking GTA. Yeah, you see that? And it's like, so if you're not willing to grind, girl, just yeah, pay dude. real money. And I hate that shit. Yeah. And what sucks is that the previous Mortal Kombat games were never like that. This is the first one where it feels grindy. And it makes sense. If the developers are going to put years of effort into a video game, they want their players to keep playing it. Mm-hmm. But, like, have us come back and play because it's fun, not because we got to grind. That's true. See what I mean? It's like, well, if we make it more difficult for them to level up their characters, they would want to play more. That's kind of why I fell off of Destiny 2. Yeah, you see it that? So really it's just kind of like, bro, what the fuck? Mortal Kombat 1, I can confidently say, is a video game made for gamers with no lives. I feel you. Bro, if you have a job or a social life or a pod like this, there's no way you can live with Mortal Kombat because you're never going to finish it. You're never going to level up all your characters. Mm-hmm. Fuck I feel you on that, that, bro. So I kind of, so I've just been like, man, Mortal Kombat. Get fucking Tekken, bro. That's why I'm like, bro, Tekken, like, I should get Tekken because like, I heard good shit about it. Hey, man. You don't level up your characters. You know, one thing I heard about that Rockstar shit when they got, when they got leaked hmm. was all like the spinoffs. They were not spinoffs, but like all the other shit outside of GT Online they had planned up. Supposedly, because it's all rumors, obviously, right? Yeah. How they had like DLC for the main story for GTA mm-hmm. 5, like how they were going to do a prequel. Do you know how the beginning of GTA 5 opens up with that bank heist with uh, Trevor? Yeah. Not yeah. Trevor, but you know, those two guys. Michael and Trevor. They were going to show how it led up to that. Like that was going to be oh, a story. Oh, yeah, you told me this, yeah. There was going to mm-hmm. be a bully too. They were, they were going to do a that. whole bunch of shit, like a bunch of cool shit. But they canned it all because of the because house. Of us. Because of GT Online, how successful those shark cards. And, dude, oh, never mind. Bro, they had like their most profitable month dude, years after, years cards. after the game came out because of GT Online. I'm just like, that's fucking insane, dude. Dude, they, they put a lot of support. Dude, yeah, and I know that's something that gamers ask for, like oh, so, like more support, like support the games longer type shit. That's cool. Yeah, but it's just like damn, bro, that's crazy. Porting the game to three consoles. Listen, man, I just want a GTA Four remastered or remake. You could have gotten that. I think that was one of the things they were that was making. one of the things they were going to work on. Yeah, man. but they but can't they had to pause the... everything. They had to shelve everything to make GTA Six because people kept complaining. That and the success of GTA Online. Well, to be fair, yeah, man, it's been a long time. And if they're going to make a GTA 4 online, it's probably going to be like the definitive GTA edition. 4 online? Or remastered. Remade, oh, yeah, oh. Say, then it would, prob- it, would, it would probably look like the definitive edition. No, that's fucking trash. No. So, I want it to yeah. be like a remake. That'd be sick. But if it was a remake, that would take a couple years, bro. That's true. That's going to take a couple years. And there's no way. Now, here's the problem. GTA 5 came out, right? Mm-hmm. And then look at all the years of support they put into that game because of how successful it was. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh shit! GTA Remast- Six is another decade. There you go. So, do you really think we're gonna be getting a remastered GTA Four or Bully or Manhunt or whatever the fuck mm-hmm. anytime soon? If they're gonna put all their effort into the support into a GTA Six online, see that? Didn't they do Midnight Club too? Oh, yeah, that was another one of the games. They were, they were oh, playing. Oh, that would have been sick. Dude, they were they were planning on fuck. making another Midnight Club. Um, another fucking Midnight Club. That was one of the games that got canned. Dude. But and now those shit. games are not going to happen anytime bro, one, soon. Dude, you should have seen the tweets. Now with six coming out, they're going to want to put hella expansions bro, and hella you should have sh- seen all the tweets. They were like, I, we could have had this, this, and this, but because of you pussies kept buying shark cards, I never got it. Like That's what everyone was fucking saying. 
Because you bought shark cards, I lost out on Midnight Club. I lost out on the uh, fucking Sorry DLC for GTA Five. I lost out on so much shit. Yeah. Bully Two, Midnight Club. Like, listen, I don't. I'm not a big racing guy. I'm not a big fighting guy. But Midnight Club is one of those card games that I actually genuinely would actually buy because I played it as a kid and I fucking loved it. Imagine a burnout. Remember burnout? Oh, and that and burnout. We need to know the burnout. Burnout. Game. Burnout three. Tip, burnout yeah. was fucking awesome. Yeah, that's just cool. Yeah. But okay, yeah, that's all the questions. I mean, also uh, before we end off end the show, I want to talk about like some like current. Not 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 too deep. I just want to talk about Silent Hill two, man. Oh yeah. We got the state of play mm-hmm. a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. We finally get the uh, gameplay trailer uh-huh. for the Silent Hill two remake. First impressions, guys. I want to hear from you guys first. I mean, when I first saw it, I was like obviously hyped. But then as I was watching the entire thing, I, I thought I was leaving underwhelmed in terms of like how the gameplay looked. You and said you thought you were being nitpicky. I thought I was being nitpicky because I'm just like I'm I love I I'm a I I enjoy visuals. Obviously, I love visuals. We in the know. Game. And what's it you called? Subtract three points off of a score if there's <laughs> it says Ely. But what's it called? <laughs> But what's it called? I I thought I was being I'm like, damn, am I just being nitpicky here? I'm like, man, I'm like, I, I'm probably just being nitpicky, bro. I'm gonna let it slide. This is probably this is probably good for like people like Hob. They said they they're okay with this. They are okay when it looks like shit. All right. Fuck? <laughs> okay. For people, for people like, like Hob. Hob. Yeah. Right. <laughs> what the fuck? But uh, what's it called? But then we were all texting in the group chat, and I was like, that gameplay looked like beta gameplay. And then that's when I was like, all right, bet. I wasn't being that picky. <laughs> he was like, W have. Yeah, Fuck for real. You. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy. <laughs> what a bitch. Uh, Fucking know. asshole. But yeah, dude, I felt like that gameplay, like I looked, because you were like, gameplay reveal got showed. I was like, what? And I went on YouTube, and it, it was uploaded, and I watched it just to see what's up, right? And Loki, I was like, that doesn't look too crazy, unless it's just me. Like I don't know. Like to me, it doesn't it doesn't look that crazy. Okay. And when and when and when Hector texted it with his typical all lowercase texts, I had a feeling he also didn't like it either. Because otherwise, he would have been hyped. Yo, it looks raw. Yeah. But he just put like, hey, yo, Silent Hill two gameplay revealed. And it was just because he said it like that. I was like, okay, then he didn't like it either. So it's not just me. I'm not tripping. Like this gameplay looks kind of off. It doesn't look like poly- like when you zoom into the I don't know the main character's name when you zoom into his hair James. like it just doesn't look like strands of hair like mm. how current games look on the running on these current yeah. engines so I was like okay I don't know like the game just kind of and then when it said in development I was like okay I, I don't think it's polished yet then yeah the end card it said in development there was rumors of it coming out 2024 we did not get a release date so most likely it will not come out this year mm-hmm. which sucks which is good I want them to finish it up but i was hyped man right i was hyped and i saw that i'm like yo what the fuck what is this right yeah bro but one thing for sure right even if it is that way it's it's fire and let me let me explain the reason why i say it's fire even though it looks that way is because it's obviously way better than the original Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. way better bro like the and I was ex- and I expected it to be this way, right? And not not how it looked, but the play style, mm-hmm. like Resident Evil. Mm-hmm. I expected it to be like that, and I'm glad it is like that. And it just sucks that it didn't look great. The melee system just it looked. Oh yeah, just the animation stiff. of him swinging. Yeah, what, it what looks was that, stiff. like a bat or a log or something yeah, like, like that? Yeah, like a log or stick. Yeah. yeah, like even the animation looked kind of basic. I'm like, am I just tripping? Like, am I just... I was like, Mario, I'm like, am I being nitpicky or does that look basic? Yeah, dude, it just... It, it, it didn't look... It, it didn't look finished, man. It, it didn't look finished and obviously... I was like disappointed and shit because... I don't know, man. It's... I was hyped because... Okay, cool. They're doing what I expected it to be. Okay, they gotta do it this way. Like, with, like Resident Evil, Right? third person either aiming down sights and stuff cool i'm assuming we're gonna be able to explore more areas in the game as well that's gonna be cool uh the even like the the enemies and stuff like that that's gonna be cool and stuff so i'm glad but it just did not look finished that was my main Mm -hmm. issue so i'm like dude what the fuck and i'm like there's no fucking way and i see many people as well like complaining about it oh shit yeah what the fuck is this I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And I see it's in development, 
So I'm like, okay, I guess it's, it says in development. There's mm. no release date. Okay, cool. And then I think uh, I think it was a couple hours later, Konami released a seven second clip on their official Twitter page, and it was complete. It was seven seconds. And this footage was not in the trailer and the gameplay reveal at all. Mm. It was not. And from that seven second trailer, it looks way better. Mm. And many people are saying the same thing. Yeah, what the fuck? This is better than the trailer. In a sense, it looks better as it looks more sharper. It doesn't look clanky, like it like stiff. Like you and when he aims a gun, you can see his strands of hair moving. I saw I gotta show it to you. I know I showed it to you in the theater, bro. And I know you couldn't really see it well. I could show it to you again. But you could see, like, when he's walking, it looks more smooth. When he aims on the gun, his hair, like, moves, like how you were saying. Like, you could actually see the strands. It looks good. And the, also the enemy, when he, uh, when he, the way she's, the nurse, right, the nurses, uh, the way she's moving, like, it looks good. And even the little detail where, like, I don't know if you caught it, Mario, where, like, she moves. And, and then you see the flashlight of the gun kind of, like, flicker. I don't know. That's pretty cool. But anyways, that seven-second thing was put out and i'm assuming it's because they saw the backlash of what it was getting yeah and konami said hey, fuck it man let's just put this shit out whatever mm. and many people were saying yeah bro this looks better what the fuck happened and people are speculating yeah that they probably took footage uh that probably was just wasn't finished or mm. some shit because i'll show it to you it looks way better right but like then that raises the question well why did they, why did they do out? that i don't know I don't, and also also here's another thing right someone was complaining and this on Twitter, I saw this on the on the Silent Hill uh, Reddit. Mm. I'm in that bitch, saying that oh, the gunshots don't sound well. Like what the fuck is wrong with this? The gunshot don't sound well. They don't sound heavy hitting. Blah blah blah. And one of the audio d- design people, the ofi- official person, replied to him. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, I saw this on the Silent Hill uh, Silent Hill Reddit. It was it's official. Uh huh. He says, "Hey, trust me." It sounds way better in game. It's just, it. He explained it in a sense where they had to split the audio, to where they had to put the music in first and then the gameplay under it, something like that. And that's why it doesn't sound as great. But he says, but rest assured, it's it has that impact. It sounds great. And so people are more like, oh, I would love to interview a developer. Yeah, right. See, what be like, what's on. it like? What's the process of going through a game? Yeah, like if you like, let's say, hey, you're 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 a level designer. Like, what? Like, where do you start? Yeah, that's actually that'd be that'd be really cool. That's a, uh, yeah, that'd be yeah. Cool. But yeah, an official uh, audio engineer person that works on the game has said that as a hey, mm. guy, hey, unfortunately, we had to do it this way for whatever reason, so the music could stand out more or whatever. It's just weird. Like, so then, like, why did they put that out? Do you think it? They, Here's do, the thing, bro. The developers have no control. It's Konami it's, and it's it's uh, Sony. other people. Yeah, bro. Like Sony mm. probably was like, "Yo, we need this here. We need this for this state of play." And the thing is, we're getting another one like real soon. I think like February. Like, yeah, like, I don't know. I forgot what it was, but I think it's this month. I forgot. Yeah, I, I gotta. Pull, I gotta I check. Up, actually, the um, that video real quick. But yeah, I mean, obviously I was bummed, but then I saw the seven-second seven clip, and it looks way better. So now I'm like, okay. And I saw the it's in development, so I'm like, they're polishing it up still. Yeah, I'm hoping, man. I'm do you, hoping. Do you believe? Okay, well, because Silent Hill, the short message, that looks good. Oh yeah, I never, I never. Is it good, Mario? Did it looks. I enjoyed it. it. Yeah. It looks like oh, it looks. Um, I finished it. I haven't finished it yet. I haven't finished it yet. Oh, uh, and Francis, he, I uh, was talking with him in the Discord. He said that he didn't really like it. Oh, for real? Yeah, I could pull it up right now. Uh, but we could get into that in a bit. But when I'm saying it looks good, it looks good, like, the graphics-wise. It looks pretty good. I'll say it looks good. I'm not going to say I was, like, amazed by it, though. No, but for a free game? Yeah, for a free game, yeah. It looks good. Yeah. I was going to say, my theory is, do you think that they released this unpolished gameplay of Silent Hill 2 the same the, for the same reason why Bethesda confirmed elder scroll six as like a way to tell the fans hey guys look we're fucking making it all right like y'all yeah told you. probably do you look, think they out. just put out this game did you Check think that out. yeah here like pay attention to like his hair and everything when he aims in and like how you're walking and shit yeah his fucking hair moves and shit and and you can see his flickers strands. You can see the strands of his hair and shit. Even when he walks, you can see it looks more smooth. Yeah. The animation of his of his walking. 
Yeah. Dude, yeah, this looks nothing like what we saw. Take a look at our new trailer showcasing. And that clip wasn't even in the in the gameplay trailer at all. Dude, yeah, like this looks nothing like it Looks way better, right? Yeah, look, I'm pulling this up. Yeah, no, dude. The hair looks different. That's I'm, I'm saying, I don't know. What the fuck? What the fuck happened? I'm assuming Konami just posted that said, oh, shit. We're getting backlash, y'all. We got to put something. But yeah, guys. Uh, That's you, crazy. Whoever's dude. listening, go to Konami's Twitter page. Uh, Twitter page. And you and you can find it there. It's just it's uh, it's just James walking towards uh, one of the nurses. But you can, you see the difference? It's so weird. It's night and day. It's so weird. I don't know. So when I saw this, I'm like, yo, okay, girl. And we just got to see, man. We just got to see. Fuck, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But um, what else were, we, what else were we going to say? Mark, were you going to say something? Were you looking up something? Me? No. No, you said you were going to bring up why Francis didn't like. The- oh, oh, shit. You're right. Yeah, I said you're right. What the fuck? You're right. You're right. Sorry, man. It's fucking. It's late, man. It's about to be two a.m., bro. <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, let me, let me, let me bring this shit up real quick. I'm gonna put. I'm putting you. On, I'm putting you on blast, Francis. Damn. <laughs> he's a damn. Nah, he's chilling. He's chilling. Where, where did he? Where did he? Uh, where did he put this in? It was in. Oh yeah. Okay. It was here. Uh, he's just, uh, he says, uh, for me, it didn't really work. The story as a whole didn't resonate with me. And there was a bunch of minor things that ultimately made the whole thing a less than positive experience. And he says, hmm. uh, there were some good things, no doubt. I'm glad I played though. So, and I kind of get it. I kind of get it, bro. Half Cause this Silent Hill game, even though it's like, how short, bro? It's two hours, two hours and like eight minutes. It. It tackles on like real world, like issues, issues. Yeah, but more so on like the younger generation, mm. such as like how, such as like social media, how it negative negatively impacts like mm. teenagers. Mm. You know how they care about clout, they care about likes, and how that could really drive them to do stupid things or feel like they aren't enough just because they don't have that many likes or and, followers and like personal relationships and like personal that. yeah you know what i mean mm. so it's so even though they are real issues i can understand why francis because francis you know he's an older guy i mean he has kids and stuff and even older people and stuff might not really resonate because they don't really grow up like in that, that digital age in that digital age right and but so i could definitely understand that and i could definitely understand the game because that is like that's this is for real. I mean, we grew up with the internet. I didn't really get was ever affected by social media that way in a sense where I cared about followers or likes. Right. But I've knew people that were like that. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like we all knew people like yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. So I could definitely see that. So that's why as of right now, where I'm at in the game, I don't really have an issue with the with the story and stuff. I think the game looks good for what it is, for for it being free. Um, is it necessarily it's definitely creepy i wouldn't say it's scary mm-hmm. right it's definitely creepy there are moments where like the chase sequence is like oh shit you have the adrenaline pump but i don't necessarily think it's uh like scary if that makes sense mm. right um but yeah so far i, I still got to finish it it's going to be up on my uh gaming channel guys scene six gaming and then you know follow mario just jazzy on youtube and then have is it just what is it on your YouTube or Instagram? Hav is flying right now. Mm-hmm. Follow him there. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's gonna be it, right? That's gonna be it for this episode. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. See you.